Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky Expanded Sky playthrough. As always, much thanks to the people who uh, whose work was used to create the Expanded Sky ROM hack mod. The link to it can be found in the YouTube description of the stream and eventual VOD video that allows us to play as a Zoroa on our playthrough here. It's a lot of fun. But yes, last time we experienced the special episode of Bidoof going to Star Cave. That was a lot of fun. A bit difficult, but a lot of fun. <laughs> it was just nice to have a little story beat. Focus on Bidoof. <laughs> Even all the way back in 2009, Bidoof was the breakout fan favorite character. And after that, we did a little bit and began the expedition to the Fogbound Lake. And so, we're going to head on in there through a, I presume, a foggy forest onto the Fogbound Lake to see if we can find one of the Lake Trio. I'm a fool and I forget which one it was named, but it is said that they protect their little land by wiping people's memories. And now we wonder, could we have been victim? Let's find out. Let's go! And hello, hello indeed. All right, everything seems to be in order. On we go. Are you ready, Neon? I do believe so, let's go. Which way should we go? Forest path or foggy forest? I do kind of like that they presumably have an easier, presumably shorter dungeon on these dedicated, like, story dungeons, so if you need to do grinding, or if you just want to do grinding, you can do that. Off we go to Foggy Forest. How you do, Neon? Because I think I had the worst luck today. Ouch! My day has been pretty good. I did some drawing and some writing. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Mario Party and Uno bad luck. <laughs> the most luck-based nightmares you can have. All right, Foggy Forest is. All right, let's roll out. Motobots, let's roll out. Anyway, maybe the keys to unlocking my memory are here. Fogbound Lake. I may find some answers if Fogbound Lake can be found. Huh? What is this? It's a thing. It looks like some kind of stone, I guess. It's red and pretty. It's kind of like a gem, actually. Silas picked up the red stone. Oh, this stone feels warm. It's like heat is coming from inside the stone. It's weird. It doesn't seem to be lava. What could it be? Also, if it was lava, your hands would be burning off, Silas. It might be rare. I'll keep it. You already have a little, like, stone piece to a treasure island far away. Why do you get the hot rock? All right, let's roll, Neon. Only one of the lake can wipe memories. The other two have different powers. Yeah, that's what I kind of knew. It's just I forget which one is the one that can wipe memories. I got dunked on by my older brother and my friend. Ouch. All right. Oh, no. Uh, just in case, I'm going to... Let Shane take care of it, because I got a, I presume I got attracted. And I don't want to be annihilated on you. The fog is actually kind of messing with me, because the surrounding forest is white. So it's kind of hard to parse everything. Which I guess is the intended effect, but still. Ooh, hoot hoot and zigzagoon. How dare you peck me. I'm going to annihilate you. Oh yeah, and I forgot, I also have... I have... You bastard. Yeah, keep doing that. I have the thing that never misses. Idiot. I can never miss! I am a god! Ah, well we were heading to the exit anyway, so congratulations. You're a fool. 
How dare you heal in front of me? You dare to heal, I annihilate you. And we shall come down here to annihilate this little guy. Just because we can. I guess I... I'm not, there we go. For a moment, just like, am I still poisoned? It doesn't feel like it. By the way, I checked the first stream for uh, personality you got. It's hasty personality. Yeah. I always forget, like, what the ones are actually called. You jerk. Get rocked. We will... We will smack you. How's my normal scratch always miss? It's what it feels like every single time. A blast seed. I never use the blast seeds for some reason. It's like, oh, it's a usable. I shall never use them. Ah, faint attack. Later on, got renamed to faint attack. Oh, so... Faint, F-A-I-N-T, then became F-E-I-N-T. I wonder if it could have just been that somebody heard it said and spelled it the way they expected it to be spelled, and then, like, if it's ever, like, wibble-wobbled like that from game to game. I could see that happening. Just what happens sometimes. Do 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 do. <laughs> Slack off is just hilarious. I can just sit back one turn and heal half my HP. <laughs> the ability to win by doing half of nothing. Oh hey, it's a ch All right, just a conga line of motherfuckers here to ruin my day, but I'm here to ruin their day first. But as we go through here. I guess I shall ramble. Yes, today I finished yet... And I'm cringing. Gomer, oh, right as I stopped cringing, I threw him into the way. And I don't think I have any other rocks. Darn it. My throwables are gone. I shall smack you for daring to be alive in my presence. But yes, I drew today. It was a lot of fun. Brain just got an idea. Just like, hey, what if you kind of sort of made a pokey sona? Because, you know... Brain just goes places sometimes. So I made that today. And I've been working on a shorter Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story. Dang it. Ha, you fool! You thought you could run away, but you can't. Because water betrayed you. But to finish my thought, I have a lot of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story ideas floating around in my head. This one is one of the shorter ones, in that I think it'll take 11 chapters to finish, as opposed to upwards of 50. <laughs> and that's just estimation on the 50, it's probably bigger. Honestly, I thought Blast Seeds were useless because after I throw it would always do 20 damage, I didn't know the intended use. Felt like a fool. I still don't really know the intended use, because I am a fool. More than likely it's a eat and then smiggity smack. I presume. But I don't really use it. Plus, it doesn't help that there's, like, different seeds for, like, different, like, use cases. So, like, some of them you eat, some of them you throw at your enemies. I think it would have, might have, I don't know. Like, it might have been better if they had specific, like, this item type is for throwing at enemies, this item type is for eating yourself, just to simplify things. That could have maybe worked. But then you wouldn't be able to have Reviva Seeds! And they're basically a staple in this game series. <laughs> Fire Breath, you gotta eat it. That's what I kind of assumed, but for some reason my brain was always like, throw the seed, throw the seed! Getting dizzy from hunger. We'll go to the next one and then we'll eat apple. Apple! Hey, apple! Murderer. Hey, murderer. But a funny thing about the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story idea that I'm whittling away at is I'm like, okay, this will be a kind of darker one, but we'll kind of ease into it eventually. And then brain, like as I'm writing out the first chapter, nope, it, it became dark immediately. Against my will. I had plans, I had pacing ideas. 
and it just decided, no, the blood will flow in chapter one. I feel like we're passing by every single enemy Pokemon and not actually fighting any of them. Hello, Pachirisu. Kill him! You didn't have to kill him that hard. When I first read the seed, I thought it would immediate, uh... Of course, the... the, the from eating it. Hmm. Yeah, because, again, I, I, I still sometimes don't understand it. And it's all these years later. I think it's because it also kind of works if you do throw it. So it feels like, oh, I can? I can throw it for damage. Get faint attacked, idiot. I like that I have a stab move now. It took me until like level 17 to get a stab move. A move that is my typing. It took so long. And it wasn't even bite. <laughs> you figured bite would have been super early on. Now I wonder what the speed run for like Mystery Dungeon looks like. Considering it's a roguelike and uh, everything gets randomized, I really wonder. I think that'd be interesting to look into, maybe. I, I could never do a speedrun. I am a fool. I'm too impatient for it. Ooh, level up time! Huzzah! I mean, if you also uh, first read the seed, I don't think my theory is totally ridiculous. That's true. How dare you poison me? I'll kill you. you. You already poisoned me. Why would you do that twice? I thought that you would, like, try to, I don't know, synthesis or something. Weird little guy. He's like, I want to make sure that... Oh, Smeargle! I wonder what it means there were no moves that could be sketched. Die. How dare you not paint me like one of your French Zoroa? It probably takes a lot of sped up movement and good RNG. Then again, that's like a lot of speed games. But remember, as you're poisoned and walking through a fog-bound forest, remember to stay hydrated. More money for me. I'm gonna be a rich Zoroa. I won't need to use illusions to steal people's money. Oh, it's a Stantler! You won't be able, you won't live long enough to become weirdier, my little man. <laughs> Dude, the paint thing got me. Of course. Don't you know? Zoroa is obviously French. Hon hon hon, bigot. <laughs> Great, now my brain went to another place. Is that a bigot in your pants? Are you just excited to meet me? Why a boner, eh? I gotta check the... The bob -a -bob. What is that? The message log. Has a distinctive atmosphere. What does that mean? Skip Loom has a distinctive atmosphere. What does that mean? I do not understand it. Here, Bonnery. We're here to murder you. Level 18. I leveled up. I'll do better now. Level up time. Is that another? I feel like we're getting all just a bunch of fighting gummies for Silas and none for me. The, my, the poor French Zoroa is starving. Donate to feed. French Zoroa's here. I think that pains me, although in Zoroark, Pokemon Unite, uh, Ghostel looks, Ghostel looks cool. Nah. I don't really pay attention that much to the... Bop, bop, bop. Like cosmetics in Pokemon Unite. Mostly because it's just like, eh, I'm never gonna get it. Why is Splash a move? 
You weird little man. And I wonder what dis again, what is distinctive atmosphere? I wonder why they all... Well, then again, I guess it kind of makes sense for them to automatically use the do not fall asleep thingy automatically when going up against anybody, because I'm like, what if they can sleep me? That would be bad. <laughs> but why can't we get this in the main game? That would be interesting. But also, a part of the issue would be, like... If they did make, like, cosmetics and stuff for Pokemon in the main series, you might run into a situation where favoritism comes into play. Where, like, certain Pokemon don't get as many cosmetics. Let's see if I can throw this stick at you and kill you. Get sticked, idiot. Because, like, it would be very, very cool, but I also think that if they did a, hey, we'll release cosmetics for Pokemon in the game, like Hat Pikachu, like, cos like uh, you'll be able to dress up your Pokemon like you do your trainer kind of thing. It would be very cool, but it would also take a lot of work unless they really cut down on the amount of Pokemon in the game. And even then... Like, I'm fairly certain that Pokemon Unite, even though it has, like, only a few Pokemon in it, relatively speaking, even then, some Pokemon have lots of cosmetics while others are languishing. <laughs> so it'd be kind of a double-edged sword to a degree. Again, I would still like the idea. It would be interesting to experience. How dare you quick attack me? Get fainted. Idiot. Get fainted. I like that I can one-shot things. It makes me feel powerful. I wonder what Pokemon... Like, what dictates the Pokemon in here? We've got Stantler. We got, like... I think there was Zigzagoons for a little bit. Now we have Bunrays. Why do you exist, Bunny? Try to run all you want. I have sticks. Get sticked, idiot. <laughs> like, why can't I have it? Because my Pokemon is cool. It's mostly a logistics issue, probably. Oh, hey, a Reviver Seed. It's been a while since I, like, found one in the wild. Because, like, it would either be something very kind of lame. Like, if they did... It would either be very basic cosmetics that could be assigned to multiple Pokemon and therefore not look as good as the Pokemon Unite cosmetics due to the fact that the, uh, the Unite cosmetics are customized. And with, like, the fact that even smaller Pokemon games, quote-unquote, have hundreds of Pokemon, I feel like that's the only way they could really do it. Unless they did, like, a Pokemon as a live service, in which they, like... But then that would also kind of lock it in, because a lot of people complain about the Pokemon... Well, actually, <laughs> pondering this idea for a moment, if they basically made super high-quality, like, trainer models and Pokemon models and then basically released expansions as the generations. Like, the base game would be Generation 1, Fire Red, Fire and... Uh, fire and Blue? My brain's melting. Like, the base game would be Red and Blue. Then they would release an expansion pass later on that's for Johto, Gold and Silver, that just adds that, like, land and Pokemon and story into it. That would be an interesting way of doing it, but it also could have its flaws. I'm not a logistics person. I tried looking up what the distinctive atmosphere means. Found nothing. Maybe it has something to do with the weather? Maybe. Oh, it's a treasure chest! I was reading chat and I like, what the fuck? That buddy area was gonna be coming for my ass! 
Jesus! Ah. Yeah, I get that, but after seeing the ghost style outfit for Zorak, I got intrigued because the outfit was purple, so it could uh, look better for a shiny one. Hmm. But yeah. The only way I could see them doing Pokemon Unite-styled cosmetics for a Pokemon game is if it was done like I suggested, a live-service Pokemon game where they, like, build up like the regions and Pokemon, which is really the only way they could do it, because again, there's way too many Pokemon to make specialized cosmetics for each and every one, unless it was done that way. And even then, they would probably be microtransaction packs. Because that's how the game industry goes. But at the same time, I don't think Nintendo themselves would do it. Because Nintendo seems to be on, like, the lighter side when using DLC. They've definitely ramped up production of DLCs, like, post-Wii U. But... I don't know. I wonder if the distinctive atmosphere, like tags a Pokemon. So, like, if you hit a Pokemon in, in, like, a certain weather environment, it goes, oh, now on the mini-map you can see it wherever it goes, but since we killed it before it could run away, then again, it wasn't even a runaway Pokemon. But yeah, since it wasn't in a room that we couldn't see it, we couldn't really uh, test it at all. Uh, we gotta kill you. You're binding in energy. Ooh, level up time. Bizarre. Uh, you scare me from last time, so die. That one bunnyary has sealed the fate of all bunnyaries. <laughs> now I have. Now I'm reminded of that meme. Is like, I don't know who I am. I don't know where I am. All I know is that I must kill. I love being able to one-shot people. It's like I'm a tiny little Pokemon with a shotgun in my tail. The French Zorua's baguette. It is a shotgun. It shoots sesame seeds like buckshot. Oh, ho, ho. Is that a baguette in your pants? Or are you just happy to meet me? No, I'm happy to kill you! That's how PMD felt like to me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Don't know who I am. All I know is that I must kill. That's basically how Silas became in the first dungeon. It's just like, ah, uh, here's a Pokemon on the on the edge of death. Silas about to viciously annihilate him. He's like, oh, I'm just a poor, scared little Rialu with no confidence. Moment he steps into a dungeon, I'm going to kill everyone. It's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He steps into a dungeon. He goes sicko mode. I feel like I go through apples far longer. Then again, I guess this is one of the longer dungeons we've been in. But I even I feel like for, like, waterfall and stuff, we didn't go through as many apples as we have just now. It's wacky. I mean, take Pikachu and Eevee, for example. Those two Pokemon were given actual voice actors in Sword and Shield, even though Pikachu started out in Gen 6. Favoritism! That would be interesting, though, if they did do my semi-proposed idea of a, a live service constantly building up Pokemon game. Basically, a super remake of... Generation 1, and then they do a super remake of each generation as an expansion pack. Like, that would be interesting if they could, like, give every Pokemon the same treatment of... But at the same time, that would also be a ton of work, because I'm fairly certain that different languages name certain Pokemon different things, so that could be a logistical nightmare. <laughs> Reversal inflicts damage on the target. The lower the user's HP, the greater the damage it inflicts. 
I don't really think that's something I care about. Uh, worst comes to worst, we can always look at it in Electivire. But decide not to put those voice clips in Scarlet and Violet. Huh. That's weird. I wonder why they chose not to do that. Very interesting. Like, they went out of their way to make them, and then eventually, like, we're gonna not do that anymore. Oh, the, the, and I love it. The backgrounds. Oh, I love it. It looks amazing. I love this game's art and atmosphere and just world. It's incredible! The water's coming down and waterfalls all over the place. But where are we? Is this the deepest part of the forest? Um, the fog is so thick I can't tell which way we can go. Hey, hey, hey! Corfish? Look, it's Corfish! Hey, hey! You two, find any clues? No, nothing yet. I did find this hot rock. The implications of the rock. How about you, Corfish? I've got nothing here either. Don't let it get you down. But there is something here that's kind of interesting. Interesting? There, have a look for yourself. Oh no, not Dutch Angle Groudon. What? what? What is this? I don't know. It seems to be a statue of a Pokemon. What kind of Pokemon is that? If there's one thing I like about cinematics and video games, it's waterfalls. And if there's one thing I like about gameplay in video games, it's caves behind waterfalls. I've never seen a Pokemon like that before. Oh? Is uh, something inscribed here? I can't read that at all. It's in footprint runes. That's really what they're called? I, I guess? That's actually kind of wholesome in a way. Because that implies that the, the far-off ancient civilization based its language off of the footprints of different Pokemon. Which kind of implies some unity there. Some community. I, that's actually kind of adorable. Well, let me read it. Um, reignite the life that burned within Groudon. Then the sky shall blaze with the sun's heat. The path to treasure shall be revealed. The path to treasure? That's incredible! Not gonna lie, now I really want to see an HD version of every part of a dungeon. Every end part of the dungeon. Yeah, the, the end parts of these dungeons are just so magically designed. It's so good. Oh, neon! Treasure? Could this mean the treasure of Fogbound Lake? The path to treasure shall be revealed. So this means the secret to finding Fogbound Lake could be hidden right here. Hey, hey, hey! You think so? Hey, hey! Now, what's a mystery we've got to solve? It's part of the footprint runes. This part about life that burned within Groudon. What's this about? So this Groudon, is it the statue? Hey, hey! So we're supposed to, what? Ignite the life that was in this statue? Yeah, but ignite the life? How do we do that? The duchiest of angles, indeed. Hmm. Huh? Wait a second! I know! Touch the statue, Neon! Maybe you'll see something! I was thinking that, too. If it means finding the path to Fogbound Lake, if it means finding the key to my own past, the answers are held by the statue. You're going to do it! Neon touched the statue of Groudon. Feeling anything? It's coming. That dizzy feeling. I like that, like, vision. Like, transition. I like it. It's nice. That's it. It's here. It's here! What was that? Whose voice was that? What? Again? So soon after the first one? Get blasted! I see. Place the drought stone in Groudon's heart. That lifts the fog. 
Very well done. Good job, partner. What did I just pick up on? That was different from what I've gotten before. This time I only heard a voice. It wasn't our first, like, psychic scream thing the same thing? We heard Azuril shout, Help! What do you mean this was different? I don't know whose voice that was. I guess that's what they mean. What I mean. We heard a voice we never heard before, rather than... Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. That voice. Whose voice was that? I didn't even get a sense of what the voice really sounds like. But it still bugs me for some reason. Are you alright, Leon? Did you see something? What did that voice say? Remember, that voice said... It said, place the drought stone in Groudon's heart, then said, that lifts the fog. Yet I wonder, is there a ROM hack where the player's the villain? Maybe. I know that there is a few Mystery Dungeon ROM hacks that are unique scenarios. So it's entirely possible. Wait a second. Drought stone? Is that maybe? <laughs> Flashback time to five minutes ago. Huh? What is this? It looks like some kind of stone, I guess. It's red and pretty. It's kind of like a gem, actually. Silas picked up the red stone. Wow, this stone feels warm. Could the drought stone be... Maybe it's that stone Silas found. Oh, here! There's a small hollow in the ch statue's chest. Did you figure something out, Neon? Put rock in heart. What? The stone I found at the base camp? You want me to fit that stone into the statue's chest? Sure, I'll try it. And now the nightmare will begin. Like a Delta Room kind of snow grave route where you proceed, uh... Yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> it's basically kind of like, Ah, Pokemon Black version, do you murder? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Outlawed, <laughs> Explorers of Outlaws. Entirely possible. Because I think the only ROM hack story things I've seen are mostly the ba 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 kind that are like uh, more just telling us stories rather than moral choice diddly dees. So I should put it into this indentation? Silas placed the strange stone in the statue's stone chest. Stone, stone, stony, stone, stone. Wah! Watch out! Step back, everyone! Wah! Well, the fog's lifted. Ooh, look at the sun in the <laughs> top screen. Hey, hey! The fog is gone! Sky cleared. The sunlight's harsh. Okay, that's nice. There's actually a little animation of the partner looking up. Hey, look! The both of you! Up, look up! Hey, hey! What is that? That's what the fog was hiding. It's no wonder Fogbound Lake evaded discovery for all this time. We were just wandering around in circles, too. Hey, hey! So you're saying is... You're saying Fogbound Lake is up there? Hey, hey, hey! Yes, that's what I think. Fogbound Lake has to be up there. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's magical. I love it. The artistry they put into it. It's amazing. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I do believe so. Hey, hey, this is no time to be gawking. I'll let everyone know in the guild. You two, go on ahead. I like that. I like that that's kind of a continuation of the guild's philosophy of it's your exploration. You go continue it. <laughs> I want that framed. That It would be a good framed picture. All right, let's move on, Neon. Onward to Fogbound Lake. Hold it. How'd they even get here? You brutes. Good job, Chaha! <laughs> you solved the mystery. You're no longer of use to us. 
<laughs> we'll swipe the treasure thanks to you. You fiends! So that's why you joined the expedition. You planned this all along. Whoa! You expected anything less? <laughs> Sorry to say it, but we'll have to get rid of you right here. We'll make you eat those words. We'll stop you from getting to Fogbound Lake. <laughs> You've already forgotten our last showdown. Let me remind you of how you lost to coughing and me. You are destroyed by our Noxious Gar special combo. Also, this makes me think it would be kind of neat if you too could do combo moves in a Mystery Dungeon game. Like, a special... Like, imagine if you could, like, build up a meter while you're in a dungeon... And, like, with, like, an Electrovire Link Shop or something, you could choose, like, two moves to combine together to do something special like an ultimate move. I think that'd be cool. Not Team Skull. Turn him into ground milk tank. And I didn't bring a violent seed. Sadness. Oh. You're destined to fail again. <laughs> Enough talking. Take this. Me and Coughing's Noxious Gas Special Com... Wah, wait, wait for me! I already know who this is. What? Perfect apple, perfect apple. I finally caught you, my perfect apple. If my perfect apple went away, I would, I would. Oh, oh, oh? Oh, you too. And my friends too. Harsh, he doesn't even... He doesn't consider us friends. It's profound sadness. Everyone's all together. Yay, yay! G Guildmaster, what are you doing here? Huh? What am I doing? I was taking a walk in the forest. Then my perfect apple went rolling and rolling away from me. So I ran and ran and ran and here I am. Oh, yes. You two shouldn't be dawdling here, should you? Huh? You two have a job, don't you? To explore the forest, right? Go on, then. Off you go. But you don't want to listen to your guild master? Boo! Boo! Hurry, get exploring! Um, okay. L let's go, Neon. I like that Team Skull is just, like, too baffled to do anything. Good luck! Oh, I hope we get some good news soon! La 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 Um, Guildmaster. Hmm, what's the matter, friend? We were thinking that we should uh, go explore as well. Oh, that's all right. I can't trouble my friends like that. I'm beginning to wonder if the Guildmaster's just fucking with everyone. He appeared too conveniently. So I'm wondering if he's actually super intelligent and, like, knew everything from the start and is just <laughs> wanting to fuck with Team Skull this way. <laughs> we'll let those two do the exploring. Let's wait for their report. La 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 Whisper, whisper. Chief, this is getting really weird. Team Lost Light's gonna beat us to the prize if we don't do something. What do we do? We have to do something. We have no choice. We'll take down Wigglytuff right now. Then we'll chase down Team Lost Light. But do you think he'll be all right? Wigglytuff is like creepy. Don't worry about it. He's no big deal. Besides, rumor has it Wigglytuff is an unbelievably precious treasure. Oh, really? Treasure? That's right. I was planning on mugging him for it anyway, so this is a great opportunity. Hey, Coughing, prepare for the Noxious Gas special combo. La 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 
Wiggly Tuff is really going to get it. Nah, he's going to annihilate you. <laughs> no hard feelings, kid. No hard feelings. But the great famous explorer, Wiggly Tuff, is finished. <laughs> I think you're going to get annihilated. <laughs> Chapter 9, The Mystery of Fogbound Lake. The, the chapters are just going super fast. I wish that would be believable. Kind of like a Saitama deal. Kind of. But more like a crouching moron, a hidden badass. But with like, he's also still kind of a moron. It's just he's so much of a badass that no one can like get around his wonkiness. Hey, I see it, Neon. See, there's a big fissure. Ooh, that bass line. Guess we can enter through here. What's a Kangaskhan statue doing here? Is that steam? I wonder if it's going to be really hot in there. I wonder how the Kangaskhan storage works like in universe. Like, are the Kangaskhan in this universe just all doting, motherly, kind people? And they have a secret, like, connection to these Kangaskhan tower, like, statues to aid adventurers in dangerous locations, no matter what. Maybe. I think. Dude, your voice, <laughs> voicing of these characters is amazing. How much time do you practice? I, d I, d I don't really practice. I just do the voices as they come to me. I've just, like, done weird voices all my life. And uh, sometimes it takes a bit of warming up, but usually I'm just like, yeah, just go for it. <laughs> sometimes the voices fall, sometimes they don't. I wonder if it's going to be really hot in there. But it's too late to get cold feet. Don't you mean cold paws? I'm shaking with anticipation, Neon. What awaits inside? And what awaits us at the top? I can't have even, even imagine what's in store for us. We're heading into a place where no one has ever gone before. That makes us my pulse race. Let's go, Neon. Let's go inside and climb upward. I would like to first save, just in case. <laughs> I do that as well, just how I feel. Yep, it's all about vibes. And of course, we're going to put things in. Hmm. Pekka, Stum, Blast, White, Earl, Cherry, Orin. Hmm. I don't know, maybe keep one Orin. Sleep Seed, Orin, Escape, Reviver, Drought, Stick, ba -ba, Transfer. I definitely need more apples. Apple! Hey, apple! Apple! Oh, well, looks like we failed. Don't watch, honey. Where's some big apples, or did I run out of all my big apples? Dude, 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 dude. I think I'm all out of big apples. We ran out of our New Yorks! At least we have a ton of, like, normal apples. We'll take four. We have so much room in our diddly D. It's so nice. I love that as a feature. The further you get into the game, the more likely you're going to need more items, so they give you space for more items. It's so nice. Ready to go in, Neon? Let's try our best. Meanwhile, back at the Groudon statue. Ah, oh, we just get immediately... Oh. Psst. Hey, Chief. What's going on? Something wrong? Chief. Hey, Chief. You've been staring him down for how long now? Come on. Let's you and I give him a double dose of the old noxious gas. Shut your tire up. Dear friends, what's wrong? You've been making such scary faces at me. But this guy's tough. Really tough. I get it. You're trying to make me laugh with silly faces. I bet I can make you laugh too. Come on, Chief. I can't take this. This whole weird scene is freaking me out. Okay, then. This isn't working, and we're out of options. Hey, Wiggly Tuff. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, what is it? Hey, no hard feelings, but. You're going down. Take this, a noxious gas special straight from me and coffee. 
And now we're gonna cut to the dungeon. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Team Skull's gonna di get it, hopefully. I should have grabbed some rocks, though. Get smacked. Don't burn me. <laughs> Don't burn me, bro! Jesus Christ! Um, die! <laughs> oh, that's scary. I should probably heal a bit, because that was a lot of damage. <laughs> that's a lot of damage! Again, that baseline, though. Hello, Farfetch. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of attacks for a little bird with a leak. Go back to Hatsune Miku. Another gummy. Always nice to have gummies. Ooh! Is that the dark type gummy or the ghost type gummy? Damn it. Now he's burning. Well, that's extra mean. Oh, hey, but he gave us a gorgeous box, so that's at least worth it. All right, up and at him. I wonder why that one dungeon, like, gave us no... Ah, we'll let him run away. Gave us no boxes, but every other one's given us loads of boxes. <laughs> what happened? I looked away for a second, and then you yelled. A Cricketoon frickin' annihilated my health. I'm just a poor little Zoro. Why does a mustachioed cricket want to hurt me? Granted, I can do the same thing to him, but with me, it's intentional. Ah, uh, great, it's the asshole. It's the mustachioed cricket. Die. What's a, what are you called? I forget. Oh, a Magby. Bye-bye, Magby. Now you die. Oh, it's the little camel guy. I forget your name. Numel. Come to think of it, I think this is the first time we've ran into a snubble in the wild. Normally, I'm used to snubble being from uh, the town, from the first game, Rescue Team. That is actually one thing that's a bit interesting, is, like, usually we don't run into NPC Pokemon until, like, later in the game. Pokemon that you can, like, find in town usually don't get wild Pokemon introductions until further into the game. You bastard. How dare you poison me. You're not a baby. You're a bastard. Your mother and your father never got married before they boned. And we found the runaway uh, Snubble again. Run away, little Snubble, before we snuff you out. We spawned right next to the stairs if we cared about that. Although, depending on how fast we go through uh, apples, we might need to speedrun this. You see, there's a reason why, back in Rescue Team, I believe Stamina Band was my favorite, like, item to use. Why are lava types here in like Well, then again, I guess it's kind of a hot spring, so... Looks like we got a... Go faster. I do like the adorable little animation of, like, I guess, not bubble, whatever the hell it is. It's kind of cute. Get smacked, Snubble. Snubble. Bye, Snubble. You're dead. Snubble. Now I wonder, like, jumping back to the, like, idea of Pokemon having, like, their actual, like, anime voices. I wonder if anybody's ever tried to mod that into a Pokemon game. 
I think that would be interesting. Like, especially if you just got, like, internet voice actors to do the voices. Although it wouldn't be a full experience because, like, a full experience would be, like, uh, different readings of the, like, uh, creature name for, like, unique situations. So, like, when they come out, when they throw an attack and stuff. Whereas, usually it's just, like, when they come out in the games. Although, now that makes me wonder if there's, like, fan games that do that. That could be interesting. But granted, that's a lot of Pokemon to program for. Which is probably why the official games don't do that. That baseline is just bopping within your soul. Ah, level up time. We're leveling up like crazy. Ooh, you can now tell a teammate to act on the tactic, go the other way. I knew, tell me, the, give me that more information. Give me that message log. Yep, just go the other way. Very nice. Getting dizzy from hunger. Getting hunger from dizzy. Aw, oh, crap, it's a conga line of mustachioed assholes. I'm not gonna give you the, the, the option to one-shot me. What if you get a critical hit? You you already did, then again, knowing my luck, that one hit that did, like, 57 damage to me from a Krikatoon well, was a critical hit, and I just didn't realize. Kill him, Shane. Kill him! Why did you have to do that to me, Billy? <laughs> Destroy us all! I don't know, my brain's just going places. My brain is going on a fantastic trip. Dun, 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 dun. Kill that Yanma! Send him to Yan Hell! <laughs> Send him running to his Yan Mommy! Snubble out of nowhere. By God, the Snubble has a steel chair. Leave Shane alone, you asshole. He stole my <laughs> Vegeta. He stole your do. I'll kill him. He used my move. Don't worry, I'm watching out for us in the back, Neon. Adorable. It does feel like they gave uh, the partner Pokemon more lines when you talk to them in this game. Granted, I don't think I really talked to Shane much in Rescue Team. So who knows? Why is there so much money in here? Are there just roaming bands of Meowth using Payday as they go? And now Brain went... <laughs> Brain went to a weird place. Like, what if there was a Meowth disease in which... Like, Meowths just use Payday compulsory... Like, what's the word? It's like... They just have the compulsion to use Payday all the time. So they're just... Wild Meowth just killing themselves by throwing out tons and tons of money. And that's how Pokey exists. And there's like an evil Meowth banker who's like... If I want the economy to grow, I've got to make sure those wild meow keep throwing out money for those explorer types to find in the dungeons. <laughs> ah, shit. I went on autopilot and walked right up to a cricket tune. Like a compulsive disorder? Kind of, yeah. But my brain was going to like a dark place. Like, uh, a compulsory disease, basically. 
where their brain slowly is like affected to the point that all they can really do is use payday over and over and over. Get to him. I'm going to throw uh, this iron thorn at you. Straight up the ass. Right, now my now my brain is going, hmm, I wonder like what dark diseases could exist in the Pokemon world. Like in relation to moves and evolutions and stuff like there's probably tons of for there's already Pokerus. Pokerus is already a canonical disease that exists in the Pokemon universe. Ooh, midpoint. You made it pretty high up. You must be getting close to the top. Oh. Hey, what was that? Oh. Just now. Did you hear that? Are we gonna hear it a third time? Did I just imagine that? Or not? Well, anyway. We're almost there, so let's keep going. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. I don't know why Skunk Tank is now narrating that adventure, but he is. He must have gone to hell. Well, that... <laughs> what, what it just growled. Did you hear that, Neon? So I didn't imagine that sound after all. It was like some sort of roar. But I wonder what it could be. Hello, hello. We are going on a magical adventure. We presume Skunk Take is dead at the hands of Wigglytuff, who is God. <laughs> Granted, it would make a little bit of sense if Arceus is just like, I'm going to become a silly little guy for a, a generation. Who knows what's ahead? Well, let's be brave, and let's keep going. True, but the Pokerus has actually proven to be helpful, surprisingly, or not. Yeah, I just think that if you took it as an actual disease, there would be, like, some negative side effect. Like, I think I read one fanfic that incorporated Pokerus and, like, added on that it did make you grow stronger twice as fast, but it also, like, halved your lifespan. Which feels poetic, even if a bit Shinigami eyes of it, but still. We're nearly, we're nearly there. Let's go! Yes. We're nearly there, and when we reach the top, we may meet Yuxi at last. It may answer my big question. Who am I? That is, who was I before I lost my memory? That reminds me. I still haven't said a word about this to Silas. Then again, we hardly say a word anywhere at all. <laughs> We're a silent protagonist. We monologue to ourselves. The true neurodivergent protagonist we all want. Yes? What is it, Neon? You have something to tell me? What is it? Neon confessed what happened since arriving at base camp. You... you what? Ever since we reached base camp, you've had a feeling that you somehow know this place? <laughs> I have a feeling that a lot of the partner Pokemon in Mystery Dungeon games are kind of solid snake. Huh. Allow me to repeat what you just said to me to make sure that the audience knows what was just said. Metal Gear. You also learned about the Pokemon that lives at Fogbound Lake? And that's Yuxi, right? So the legend says it erases visitors' memories? So you suspect you've been here before, Neon? You think that it, you encountered Yuxi, who then took your memory? I see. So that's what has been on your mind. Hmm. Neon? Well, now we just have one more reason to get to the top. We have to meet Yuxi and find out what really happened. I wonder what you were like before you lost your memory, Neon. Perhaps Yuxi can provide the answers. Let's go. Let's make our way to the top. Well, let's go. <laughs> and no longer are we fogged. What the hell was that? Volbeat looks big and chunky. Well, luckily I have uh, a move that never misses. Hey, asshole, die. I'm gonna raise my evasion! I'm gonna hit you anyway. Bull 
shit. <laughs> I counter you. Justy from Pokemon Coliseum shows up in here. Oh no, my worst fear. A Pokemon that can hit even through evasion. You know, I'm surprised that no one really cares about if my Chimchar partner just doing like Skywalker. <laughs> doing like a Skywalker. It's a wacky world here in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world. What? Unless my brain is completely fried, I, I think this is kind of like... What's the word? A continuation of the last theme, which makes sense. It's the same area. Oh, nope, you die. <laughs> you are the motherfucker that did a billion damage to me. <laughs> you die. Uh, be gone. <laughs> I'm especially not going to let you use Bide. Oh, it's a chuckle. Would you like a bear, you little guy? Yuxi, one of the three legendary Pokemon of the Lake Trio. Yuxi always has its eyes closed because if you made eye contact with Yuxi's eyes, her memory would get wiped <laughs> meeting Yuxi. So that's why Brock always has his eyes closed. He's a Yuxi in disguise. He's Yuxi on vacation. That like harp part in this music is so good. I love it. Like, the composers to this game, you are so good. What the fuck? Alright, die. Level up time! I can learn a new move. I can learn scary face. I can glare at people. Reduces speed. I, uh... That actually could potentially be good. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe that could be good, but... Hmm. I'm going to not. Hopefully I didn't, like, click the wrong thing. You got rid of faint attack. No! I'm a fool! You bastard. Le let that Rialu alone. Quit quick attacking. You are a little motherfucker. No one's too dead. I want that Volby eliminated. I want that Volby's penis exploded. Hello, Shuckle. Would you like to die? How can a Shuckle dodge a bite? We must annihilate him. Make him die. I wonder why it blinked. Did it give itself some epilepsy from its blinking tail? At least I think it has a blinking tail. Again, the little harp part is so nice. Where to kill you? Be gone, shit, I missed. And we just went in a circle. No, no! Do not hurt me! Die! Mustachioed cricket. I'm going to have eternal fear of that guy for like a million years. I'm going to see him and be like, oh no, it's him. The guy that almost one-shot me. I'm getting so many diddly d cases. I'm going to be able to do so much swap trading at the cauldron when we get back. Unless I'm poor as shit and they're like, it takes 10,000 pokey to open this chest. Ah oh, shit, it's a magma. Oh, good job. Paralyze the motherfucker. Awesome, I leveled up! It also feels like the partner has, like, more level up lines than in the previous game, which is also appreciated. Mother Steam Cave. Come fight me, Magma! You mag motherfucker! 
Do we care about a Luminous Orb? What is a Luminous Orb? What do you do? Hello, Luminous Orb. What is your information? Mapping item that reveals the entire floor. Is there anything in here that I, like, don't care about? Like, I guess I could maybe throw away the iron thorns. I'm not using them to... Wait, there's a mod? Uh, Azora mod for this game? Technically, it is the Expanded Sky mod. Which, uh, all, all, like, throws in a bunch of starters from other games f future down the line with some favorites like Rockruff and Zoroa thrown in. The link is in the YouTube stream description and all subsequent uploads of these streams full of, just because it's a very nice thing. Really like the bass in this track. It is a just a booming bass. It's very nice. Granted, it's also the same, like, uh... Ba -ba -ba, baseline that was in the last, like, dungeon section, like, music, but that's because it's building, it's a motif for this place. We're getting a ton of experience for annihilating these guys. Five! Five! <laughs> you dare mock me? Five! Die! Five! Five pokey! Here! <laughs> when it's normal to get like 80 in a single pile. What the hell? <laughs> what? And what about you, Switch Orb? I don't care. I don't care about you picking up that XIC. We're gonna go up. Hmm. Royal Gummy. You're the Dragon Gummy, I do believe. It's always better to take them to nom 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 them back at Spinda Cafe. So, goodbye. Hmm. Well, actually, he'll see. Goodbye, swibbity swabbity. <laughs> Here's your pocket money. <laughs> Five pokey. That's that's what I assume, uh, like, Meowth's payday would be like, pocket money, <laughs> instead of pocket sand. I'm gonna, or rather payday in this universe, I'm gonna give you five dollars to fuck off. Like, I wonder if in this world... There's, like, if other Pokemon are annoyed at Meowths because they're just, like, those Meowths, they just make money. Is it illegal for Meowths to <laughs> make their own money through Payday? Or does it have to be, like, well, you see, you can make as much as you want, but you need to take that with you all the way to, like, the Mint and, like have it officially taken into circulation. Oh boy, apple time. Apple-tastic. Nom nom, floor apple. You motherfucker. No, no, Sh Silas? Our evasion went down. Its evasion didn't go up. You idiot. What's a decorum? Dequab? Dequab! What's a dequab? An item that afflicts the enemy with decoy status condition. The target with a decoy status is transformed into a decoy that also attracts the attacks of its own allies. Ooh, that might be nice. Maybe. Hmm. But is there anything I care to get rid of? For it. I don't I don't I don't really think so no. I don't really use orbs anyway. For I am a, a motherfucker. You are a bitch. Get per, get fainted, idiot. Die. Kill him. Don't let your guard down, he says, turning his back against the enemy. When your back's against the wall. And you feel like you're gonna fall. That's a mori. Escape orb. I think we have a decent amount of those. 
My inventory is full, and I am in pain. <laughs> now I'm imagining, like, a Meowth going to school, and the bullies are like, Hey, Meowth! Make me money! Make me money, Meowth! I can't just make him money, that's against the law! Come on! Make me money! My mama never told, told me to never make money for people unless I was at the bank or fighting for my life. Oh, you really shouldn't have done that because now you're going to be fighting for your life. No! Punch. Just punt the Meowth into the wall. I don't know why my brain goes places. It doesn't even need a map. It just goes, we're gonna go to a fun place today. And where's that, brain? The conceptual theory of bullying me Alps for money and the legalities therein. Oh, it's an apple. I shall eat the floor apple. The legalities of bullying your Meowth classmate for money. Part 5. Level up time! Huzzah! Onwards we go! Oh, is it to hell time? Is it hell time? We've climbed far up. This place, it feels... It feels strange somehow. The very air is charged with tension. It's making my skin crawl. All over. I feel like I'm being crushed. I think that's a panic attack, Silas. By a terrible sense of danger. I think that's a panic attack, <laughs> Silas. And I think that's uh, the panic coming to kill you. Eep! It's that sound we heard earlier, Neon. Just as I thought. It was the sound of roaring. Oh no, it's a T-Rex from Jurassic Park. Something is... is... coming. Oh no, Wigglytuff ate them. Hey, hey, hey! Check this out, everyone! This is it, the Groudon statue. Oh, but there's no one else here. Are you really sure that you saw the Guildmaster Corfish? Sure, I'm sure. I saw him when I was scuttling him back to base camp. The Guildmaster dashed past all willy-nilly in hot pursuit of a perfect apple. I gave him a shout and a wave, but he seemed too occupied to haul her back. But I guess that Neon's team went ahead. So I bet the Guildmaster went off after them, don't you think? Wouldn't they, like, um, like, assume Silas to be the team leader? Because I don't ever say anything to anybody. Hmm? That ground. Oh, well, it's shaking. <laughs> okay, that's nice. The, the roar is very low in sound there. To be like, it's very far away. What? Whatever could that be? What an uproar! Is it maybe? Mama! Is it you? I've been looking everywhere for you! Something is going on up there! Let's up her! Everyone understood what he said. Hmm? Hey, Dad, did you hear something right over there? Like moaning and groaning? Oh, you just imagined it. Now let's hurry. Yep. <laughs> they got annihilated. Oh, gee, wow, wow. I'm d d deflated. I can't move. Oh, God. How did that happen? How did Wiggly Tough shrug off our Noxus just special like it was nothing? I don't think he even has a nose. And how, how 
around it, wiggly tongue. Strike back, Alice. It's unbelievable. Ark. <laughs> Ark. Why Ork? Oh boy. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm trying to think, because I think we fought Groudon and Rescue Team too, but I forget exactly when. <laughs> wow! What is that? It looks like the statue! That, that Pokemon really exists? Well, he is meant to be of legends. While you're about to be murdered, <laughs> murderized by a legendary Pokemon, remember to stay hydrated, especially since it's supposed to be hot up there. Blah, blah, blah. Beep. That time, no sound effect, but grrrr. You have come to desecrate this place. Also, why is his portrait a different shade of red from his sprite? That's a little distracting. Depart now! But all we want is to go to Fogbound Lake! What? Fogbound Lake? I am the guardian of Fogbound Lake. I am Groudon. You will never leave here alive, intruders! What? At least we'll, we'll leave dead. Near the end of the previous game. Right. Hey, hey, there's a way in. We can go up through here. Let's hurry. Hey, hey, Chatot, can I ask you something while we're running? Chatot, do you know about a Pokemon called Groudon? Well, of course. Just what do you take me for? I'm the only the head of intelligence for our guild. Stop! Groudon is a legendary Pokemon spoken of in myths passed down through the generations. Although I heard uh, the scrapping young rescue team a few years ago absolutely kicked one's ass and made it go back into hibernation. A legendary Pokemon? Correct. The myths say that he raised land from the sea and that he built up the continents. Oh boy, that sounds like a colossal Pokemon. I like that they threw that in there to be like, yeah, this is kind of a big deal <laughs> even have it still going. What if you were to face Groudon in battle? What would happen? Battle? Out of the question! That is not the voice for Chatot at all. Battle? Out of the question! <laughs> if anyone were foolish enough to face Groudon in a battle, well, it would be like throwing your life away. He is that strong! Like all legendary Pokémon! Uh, this is scary. We need to be brave, and I need to face up to this. There's no giving up now, Neon. Prepare for my wrath. Draw! All right, first things first is Silas moves enduring counter. And I believe I'm going to use Pursuit myself. I'll lower his stats a bit. Alright, that's not good at all. Oh, what the hell? Why do you move away? That's kind of weird. Oh, that's... Thing. Get blasted. Good job. Now if he hits you, he'll smack you. Haha, <laughs> hit me. Oh, that's fucked. What the fuck? That's utterly horrifying. Why would you do that? And we beat him! Ha <laughs> ha! We did good! <laughs> and he looks like a big fish flop like that. We did it! We defeated Groudon! But is it really? And then he fucking exploded!
Fuck! Huh? Groudon disappeared? That was... That was not Groudon. That Groudon was nothing more than an illusion that I conjured. <laughs> Unless I want to do Brock's voice for Yuxi. Who said that? Like I said earlier, I am the guardian here. And I cannot allow you to pass. Wait, please! We're not here to cause trouble! We came only for information! Well, the guild came for treasure, but we came for information. And information is treasure. Information, you say? Yes, that's the honest truth. Well, we admit that we're an exploration team, and we'd like to leave with treasure after all our effort, but we'll leave without any if you have a problem with that. <laughs> Groupon? Oh, it's a reference to the Google translation. I don't think I... Did I say Groupon? I didn't mean to say Groupon. <laughs> Although that does... Groudon to Groupon. <laughs> Groudon's Groupons. Giving you discounts when you need them the most. We'll be happy to say that we just made it this far. Please, please believe us. Hmm. Well, okay. I believe you. Why do you have to keep flashing? Let me welcome you, then. I'm Yuxi, the guardian of Fogbound Lake. What? Did you say Yuxi? Yes, truly. I stand guard over something special that lies in Fogbound Lake. Now let me escort you to Fogbound Lake. Please, come this way. I'm very trusting, you see. Probably because I can just wipe your memory. <laughs> the Omni Boost was useless for Groudon. Now if it was autocorrect, I hate the autocorrect feature. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> it's stab boosts was super scary, and then it just died. M already, I'm loving it. Look at that water. It's sparkling, it's moving, it's nice. Wow, it's become dark outside. And is this, is it the scene that I think it is? It's going to be messed up because I how I have my uh, DS screens, but it's still going to look pretty good. It may be a little difficult to see at night, but... Behold, Fogbound Lake. Oh, that's that's gorgeous. I love it. It looks so good. That's incredible. Who'd expect to see such a big lake on a plateau so up? And those floating Volbeat and Illumis? So beautiful. Water constantly wells up from far below this place. It flows up so heavily that it has long formed this enormous lake. Now cast your eyes to the glowing area at the lake's center. Yes, I see it. It's radiating from below. That blue-green radiance, right? And this music! It's so good! A step forward for a closer look. Oh, it's so good. What could that be? I can't figure it out. This music! Oh, it's so good. I think I even heard a motif in there. I think there's a bit of fugitive runaway in there. Oh, that's so good. Can't figure it out, but it's making my heart race. But why? Why should it stir me up so much? Why is my pulse speeding all of a sudden? That's fantastic, but what is it? It has such a mystical quality. That is a time gear. What? That's a time gear? I mean, it looks like a gear. You couldn't tell that, the stylus? You couldn't think it? Yes. I guard the time gear. It's the sole reason that I'm here. <laughs> what is my purpose? You guard a time gear. Oh my god. Others before you have tried to trespass here. But I used my Groudon illusion to chase most of them off. Groudon? How'd you do that? That is something I create using my psychic abilities. Like so. Wah! There is no need to be startled. As I've said, it's just an illusion. What you thought was no more than that. There have been others before who defeated my Groudon illusion. They managed to make their way to this spot. 
but they were trespassers, so I took away their memories, and thus protected the lake. Took away their memories? Oh, that's right! We hope to ask you something, Yuxi. Meet my partner, Neon. At present, a Pokemon. At one time, a human. Oh, really? A human? Yes, but Neon has lost all memory of being a human. So we're wondering, have you maybe met Neon here before, Yuxi? And did you take away Neon's memory? Has that ever happened? Did a human ever come here? Do you remember anything like that ever happening, Yuxi? The answer is no. No human has ever come here. I should explain further. I erase only memories of Fogbound Lake. I cannot fully erase all memories from living beings. Well, at least that adds a bit of, like, that is like, I can only erase, like, a section of memory. I can't do the whole thing, so. And I had nothing to do with your friend's memory loss. Nor anything to do with your friend's transformation to a Pokemon. The cause lies elsewhere. Oh, well, that's okay. So it doesn't seem like you've been here after all, Neon. Yuxi, we hope to meet you to learn more about my partner. Uh, what's that? A time gear. A time gear. Well, too bad. Oh, nope, never mind. It's. <laughs> I thought it was going to be somebody else, but nope, it's just Wigglytuff. Funny that you mentioned the future depart from the previous game. If you listen to Gladion's theme from Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you can hear some notes similar to the Pokemon Mystery Dungeons. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we can't take a time gear. W Wigglytuff! Wow, fantastic! And who might you be? That's our guildmaster. Glad to meet you, friend. Friend, friend, friend. Glad to greet you, friend. Friend, amazing friend. Gaze upon this amazing view. I'm delighted we came. La di la di la di. <laughs> He's a simple little guy. He just likes a good view. This is the real treasure, the memories we make along the way. <laughs> Everyone gets here and will be like, sorry, everybody, we already went through. Phew, here we are at last. No time to catch our breath. We've got to hurry. Hey, hey. Someone's over there! Let's go! Wigglytuff is just sweet. It's Groudon! Spit it out! <laughs> He's making friends with an illusion. He'd make th he'd make the illusion alive through his sheer power. Ding! Don't eat me! I'm not tasty! Hello to one and all. So what's wrong? Gilbuster! Oh, never mind that. Everyone, look out there. It's spouting. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, my, so shimmering. Yep, yep, some kind of pretty. Yes. The lake geyser erupts every now and then. It sends up water just like a fountain. And the time gear sends up illumination from below. While many Illumis and Volbeat glow upon the fountain of water. In harmony, they are the very vision of beauty. The treasure. The treasure must be the view of Fogbound Lake. That indeed it is. Oh, it's so good. Are you taking in this view, Neon? This is so magical. It's really too bad that we didn't learn anything about your past, Neon. But I'm glad we came. I'm happy that I got to see such a beautiful scene with everyone. I'm truly happy. I'm glad that I came too. Sure, it's true we never learned who I am. Hang on a minute. Yuxi said... Yuxi said he didn't know me. But if that's true, how did I know about this place and that time gear? I'm sorry for ranting, but some places I want to have a painting to hang of that place 
or frame. It would be so good if they just sold posters. They'd make a, a nice mint. When I see that time gear, why does my pulse race when I see it? And this unease I feel, what does it mean? I can't believe that my Zorua is time gear sexual. So sorry to have disturbed you. Had a fantastic time! Friend, friend, friend. I shall not take away your memories of this place. You have earned my trust. But I ask that you keep this place a secret. Surely, thank you. We all know what we need to do. You know, another time gear has been stolen. This one must stay safe. We won't ever say a word about this place. I swear it in the name of Wigglytuff's guild. Please hold true to that promise. Okay, let's be on our way. Chat up, if you will. I'll hop to it, Guildmaster. Hey everyone, we're going back to the guild. Hooray! Looks like a different type of memory loss. Yep. Or maybe I never existed at all. Maybe I'm a time gear made manifest. I think at least I know-ish what's going on. Again, vague memories of playing this game like 10 years ago, but who knows. And so, the guild's long and challenging expedition finally came to an end. Wigglytuff and the members safely returned to the guild. For Neon and the apprentices, going to the guild meant taking up the standard training schedule. It was life as usual back at the guild. I like that. That was such a nice series of episodes. The clouds lifted from Fogbound Lake and its surrounding areas. Now people will get lost in there and you'll be able to go save them, despite the fact that's never happened before in the history of the universe. I would say, but hmm, spoilers. Yep. The Exploration Team Federation has sent a message. Neon's team was rewarded. There's more room! You can now carry more items than you could before. Wait, there's one more message. The special episode, Igglybuff the Prodigy, has been unlocked. Oh yeah, there was a Wigglytuff prequel thingy. I'll have to do that sometime. To so play a special episode selected from the episode list on the top menu. If you would like to play the special episode, save your adventure progress and return to the top menu. More items. The greatest reward that can possibly be. Genuinely, it's super, it's super nice. <laughs> Chapter 10. Bastard. Dusknor. The next morning. We need to mouth shut on the spoilers. Indeed. Up and at him. It's morning! Uh... It's been a while since we were woken up like that. And three smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. I do find it kind of funny that we just left Team Skull just in <laughs> in the Lost Lake area. <laughs> I guess it's time to get back to our guild training, Neon. Let's work hard at it. Now that's what I like to see. A lot of morning pep. Impressive. Let's see you put that pep to good use today. What? You can't identify the footprint. Well, he doesn't have feet. Does not surprise me, actually. I didn't expect what he was going to be. <laughs> I can't believe he was going to be so hot. What do you mean? I'm trying to tell you, I can't identify what I don't know. What's wrong? We have a Pokemon visitor up top whose footprint we can't identify. Diglett is an outstanding sentry, so it's rare for him to be stumped by footprints. Then again, with how many Pokemon there are in this world, could it really be that, like, you could know all of them? You know? It seems a bit weird. So, it, yeah, so it's rare for him to be stumped by footprints. If those two were doing sentry duty, that'd be no shocker. Really? Well, if it's so rare that Diglett gets stumped, what about when we first arrived at the guild? You guys couldn't recognize Neon's footprint. Right, Neon? 
Hmm? Say again? You want to meet our guild master? Your name is Dusknor? Oh, please, wait just a moment. D Dusknor? The world famous Dusknor? If, he, if he's so world famous, how, how do we not know him? That's actually kind of weird. Why is this sprite like that? Ooh, I'm pointing at you. Thank you for visiting. What an honor. No, no. Think nothing of it. The honor is all mine. There's no greater pleasure than visiting Wigglytuff's guild. It's famous. Excuse me, Loudred? What do you want? Who's that visitor? <laughs> the sudden turn! <laughs> Whiplash! You saw it. What? You haven't heard of Dusknor? The famous explorer? Uh, well, you know, I, I haven't heard of him. That's not surprising, really. He's a new arrival on the scene. He came out of nowhere like a comet. He became famous almost overnight. Well, I guess if you're super strong and you just like, I'm going to make myself super famous, I guess it wouldn't be that crazy. They say his talents as an explorer are super exceptional. So this dust is really that amazing? Yeah, here's some more good stuff that I heard. Good man, need to hydrate. When praising a big old man, remember to stay hydrated. <laughs> he does things unlike anyone else. First, he doesn't work in a team. He does all his exploring solo. Alone? That's right. He's got to be pretty sure about his skills to do that. But what's even more incredible is wealth of knowledge. It seems like there's nothing in the world he doesn't know. That's how much he knows. Wow, he's that knowledgeable? So the rumor goes, but he has used his knowledge to succeed on many explorations so far. So many Pokemon revere Dusknor for his achievements. It would have been nice if there was, like, possibility to maybe hear of him in the past to build up to this. So I th that might be... Might have aided, but it does seem like he came out of nowhere. But I suppose if he was an overnight sensation. That's how I know the claims about his mighty knowledge must be true. Does Dusknor visit here often? No, this is the first time! That's why Diglett couldn't recognize him. I think the Guildmaster just met him for the first time, too. Huh? Then why is he being so friendly? Well, that's just how our Guildmaster is. Even if it's the first time he meets someone. I see. Well, that must have been quite a disappointment for your guild. Yes, the expedition was a waste of time. Didn't learn a thing about anything. I heard that Wigglytuff's guild was mounting an expedition to find Fogbound Lake. I came here hoping to hear about your latest triumph. Sorry, we didn't learn a thing. Not at all. It's no trouble to me. This gave me an opportunity to visit you. I plan to stay in Treasure Town for a short while. May I visit you with occasionally during my stay? Your guild constantly receives the latest news. Good information would be a big help on my explorations. No problem. Other exploration teams visit us all the time. You're always welcome here. Everyone, this is Dusknor. He's going to stay in Treasure Town for a while. Mind yourself around him. Dusknor is a very famous and quite knowledgeable, so I bet everyone would like to get advice from him. But let's not overdo it. We don't want to be a nuisance. Now, everyone, our guest might be famous, but don't embarrass us by asking him for autographs. No, no. If it's autographs you want, I'm sure that I can oblige. But information, I'm afraid you flatter me. I have very little. However, I would be delighted if I may be of service to you. If there's anything you wish to ask of me, please don't hesitate. What if he's... What if he's the banker guy from the future? He lost his love of money, and now he wants to see the world. Smooth, Wiggly Tough. Real smooth about beating around the bush. No, I don't think he'd really beat it around the bush. With Wigglytuff, he could be like, Oh, yeah, it was a real big disappointment. And people would, like, believe him. How are they clapping? Like, no, seriously, how are they clapping? I think only one person here... Ha okay, like, 
three people here have tangible... Okay, I'm just counting Silas. Four people here have tangible hands. <laughs> so just like, how are they clippity-clapping and all over the place? Yep, yep, it's a great honor. Oh, I'm so very glad to have met you. Come now, everyone. You're dismissed. I think I'll go for a stroll in Treasure Town. Please do feel free to approach me with anything. Good day. Oh, you two. I'd stopped it saying earlier about your assignment for today. Today I want you to read over the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. And take some of the listed jobs. That will be... That will be all. Hey, Diglett! We've been away from this. We'd better focus! I'll definitely talk to a lot of people. Oh, hey, it's the... the, the they call themselves thieves. Uh, then we failed to find clues here, too. It is rare to come by news on Zero Isle. Right, boss? Hey, you two. Do you have any news on Zero Isle? Zero Isle? Yeah, rumor has it that the greatest treasures are there. But the treasures aren't the most fascinating thing about that place. When you go in that dungeon, everyone is temporarily dropped to level one, and their learned abilities are zeroed out. From what we've heard, you can't even take in items. Basically, you walk in alone as if you were a rank amateur again. No exploration teams made it to the end yet. They're calling it the ultimate dungeon for good reason. Drapion, you talk too much. I'm sorry, my lady Weavile. We've been away for a while, and we just got back. While we were gone, I hear Wigglytuff's guild went on an expedition. That's disappointing. If we could have known all along, we would have asked to tag along. How was your expedition? Did you find any treasures? Unfortunately not. Oh no, not that place. I was looking for my sanity. <laughs> You're looking for your sanity there. The amount of floors is crazy. hundred, right? Well, first things first is, before we take any item items, we're going to... Well, when I say items, items, we're going to do uh, some shopping. The money earned on your expedition. Please allow me to hoard it for you in my bank. Are you sure that you're not that guy from the future? Here to fuck my ass with some unbelievable sass? Oh my gosh, I got to be the famous Dusk Noir. It's such an honor. Yippee! Oh, Neon and Silas, I've come into an interesting bit of news I can't wait to share with you. Have you heard about eggs, Neon? Oh, great. We're going to get the talk of the birds and the bees from a spoink. Eggs are quite rare, I hear. And I hear you might get them as rewards for jobs. But as precious as eggs can be, they can be a burden to look after. But worry no more. There's a new shop in town that will take care of your eggs. See that shop in the lower left? A Pokemon named Chansey runs the shop. If you ever get an egg, Chansey will take care of it for you, Neon. Oh, the great Dusk Noir shook my hand. You have hands? You have hands. You? Oh, the great Dusk Noir shook my hand. My gosh, my golly. It's like, like a dream. Wow. Oh, what? Nothing turned up on the expedition. The guild normally comes back with lots of treasure after an expedition. That's not like you all to fail. Welcome back. Was the expedition fun? Oh, you never discovered anything. Oh, that's too bad. I wonder if you say anything. How was the expedition? Wasn't it fun enough for you? Ha <laughs> ha Oh, it's this guy's. That stink is finally fading. It still stinks a little. Our sense of smell is acute. We're real sensitive about it. If the stink is mostly gone, that's a good thing. Yo! Hey, I'm advertising yet another shop today! It's a shop down from there! Zatu appraisal in the place! Have you two picked up any strange treasure boxes and dungeons? You know ones you can't open? Zatu has the ability to pop open boxes like that and take out whatever's inside. There's just one thing he's a, a little weird. 
Anyway, if you find the treasure box, you can't open. Zatu's the one to visit. I wonder if they pay him for the advertisements. Welcome back. Oh, after the expedition, you both seem a little different. My dears, you have a new lean, mean look. I can see that. Ah, you flatter us, Mama Kangaskhan. Do, 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 do. Well, actually, nope, it's ghost type. Darn! Darn, 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 da, darn. Slip, slap. Bum, 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 bum. I'll get to that. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So if you're going, buckle your seatbelts for you have all those floors on Zero Isle when you get there, of course. I can only imagine how crazy it's going to get. Wrong thing. Let's see. I want to see... What's the black gummy? Dark type! Ha ha ha! Exactly what I expected. We'll take out an orange gummy and a bunch of boxes. So we can go to spend a cafe and do that other stuff. Let's see. I need an orange. Orange, or, 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 orange. Orange gummy for the boy. The, 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 the boy. Slip, slap. And then I'll probably have to do a lot of trading in at Biggity Bucks. I guess I'll also take the Geo Pebbles with me. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ah, welcome back. It sounds very like it was a fine expedition for your guild. What you gotta sell? See. Nah, Geo Pebbles, Stamina Band, Iron Thorn. Not much of anything there, really. What about you, Purple? Purple Boy? Welcome back. We hope your continued patronage. I keep forgetting that you have full like lines and stuff. Swords Dance and Flash. I can't believe he sells an HM. This is Zatu Appraisal. My service costs 150. What do you wish? You may find yourself unable to open up treasure box to know what the item is within. What a mystery! And in such a time of need, quick, quick! Bring the impenetrable box to me to appraise, for me to pry open. I shall give you the item and reveal what it truly is, but such knowledge comes at a cost. Appraise all, and to appraise all your items, you'll pay 1,650. Let the appraisal begin! Quick! Quick! Quack! Quack! And so it is revealed, within the boxes were... A Tortorn! A Magby card! A Typhlo Gasp! A Smooch Song! A Magma card! A Magma card! A Chico Claw! A Wiggly Hair! A Wartor Fang! A Blazer card! A Fan Peak Law! What more do you wish? I'll be it. When you get another box, I'll have the eyes to probe its mysteries. You missed a Reviver Seed? No, I think I left that in there intentionally. Because two Reviver Seeds, three Reviver Seeds, and then I just have that as a thing. So yeah. Chikorita, Wigglytuff, Pampy, Blaziken. Lots of specifics here. Bum, 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 bum. First things first is we're gonna go save. Welcome to Daskal Bank. I throw my money at you. We're gonna save, then we're gonna squeeze some juice out of these here gummies. We're gonna go back and uh, see what, uh, what's his name? I forget his name. The Toad Guy. We'll, we'll talk to the Toad Man. <laughs> Brilliant. Somebody clipped that. I don't even know what was <laughs> what you're asking for. Oh, it's a Sneasel! I'm Sneasel. I'm a one Pokemon exploration team. I won't let anyone get in my way, ever. Is it your sister that's up in the guild right now looking for Zero Isle? I heard that Team Lost Light is a great exploration team. Is it true? If it is, I'd like you to retrieve an item for me. 
and Foggy Forest. What rank is this mission? Difficulty A for 300 Pokey. Well, I, I guess since you're here. Thank you. I knew the rumors about the superb team Lost Light had to be true. I've got a bad feeling about that sneeze at the other table for some reason. As soon as he came into the store, he yelled at me, Don't just loiter! It's okay to take your time and browse a bit, though, isn't it? Are you, what, are you going to team up with him as a team, as like a background event? Murkrow's been over there for a while now. It looks like she's having a hard time deciding what to order. Interesting, they're actually like, I just now noticed it, but they're actually gendering the Pokemon in this version. Whereas, they usually use lots of they's and it's in Rescue Team. This must be the juice bar everyone's been talking about. Gummy? Apple? Oh, I can't decide. I must order. I have a, I have my own. It'll be very nice. Me. I drink it. I'm the dark type. Fill me with juices. That's right! Shake it this way, shake it that, and stir it all around and it's done! Drank the black gummy a lot. Moderately sweet. And the natural flavor comes bursting forth. I queue it up significantly. And my attack rose too. Of course. We have an orange gummy for the boy Silas. We're both here to drink. It's like a date. That's right! Shake it this way. Shake it that. And stir it all around and it's done! A savory fragrance and unique bitterness came together for a mature flavor. I see you're a true connoisseur. Spiel? Spiel? I noticed the way you tasted your drink. Getting to know the flavor before gulping it down. You're obviously a gourmet and I would love to join you on your adventures. What do you think? Will you let me join your team? Sure, dude. <laughs> Why not? I'm gonna horribly butcher this, but like... Oh, never mind. I'll, I'll, you will be... Mr... What should you be? Mr... I doubt this will fit, but I'm gonna go for it. It just came to me. Where is it? Let's see if it'll fit. It probably won't. Almost. Just a few more. Nope. You'll be Mr. Fantan. You're Mr. Fantan now. Come along, Mr. Fantan. <laughs> yeah, you still get ca uh, called it or they, even if you do add your gender to the personality test. That's probably, e like, uh, that's probably because they didn't want to, like program that in specifically, but when it comes to, like, the background characters, they get gendered a lot more. Here, they just, like, say your name a lot. <laughs> Happy news, why not? Thanks to everyone's recycling efforts has made more discovery. Yeah. <laughs> Increase the juice. This time, treasure was discovered, so we're offering higher grade of recycled items. Huzzah. Wah. I'm here to recycle. I have lots of shit in my bank. Oh, never mind. They're just like, another discovery. But I was just here. We have to do this little announcement for everything. Oh, this time it was a dungeon. Landslide cave. I just wasn't paying attention. I'd like to recycle now, please. Let's see. A uh, silver ticket, as always. What things are we going to throw in? I guess a special scarf, a twist scarf. Not the gummies, because I need to actually use them. A few cherry berries. And a heel seed. I will recycle these. I wonder if there's like a method to the madness of the recycle shop, or if it is all voodoo. Yellow this time. Right, yellow! Is it a win? Is it not? That's right! Dang it. And I got a rainy orb. So it's like, leave six, take one. I'm 
I'm gonna do more recycling. Eternal recycling, my dude. Do, 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 do. I mean, I have a lot of orange berries, too. Dear God, I have a lot of heal seeds. And a lot of max elixirs. Is there any, like... And a lot of escape orbs, too. <laughs> what if I was just like, oh, you... Oh, wait, no, that's not how that works. It's like... Because I've just been getting the tickets for a while, but the other items, you need to get specific items to get them. I'll take a red this time, since I haven't done red yet, I don't think. So is it a win or not? That's right! Oh, it's a win? I'm a win rar? Wow, that's wonderful! That's so great, why not take your prize? Hidden power. <laughs> Oh, poor, poor Bidoof. All he had to do was recycle to get hidden power. That's all he had to do. He just had to recycle. And he would have been the world's greatest explorer. <laughs> I probably should have rearranged my... Dippity dee da, dippity day. I'll do one more. I guess one max shouldn't do too bad. And an orange berry. I'll recycle these. Well, it obviously won't be red, so let's go blue. What is it? Is it win or not? So is it a win or not? That's right! And another win! <laughs> okay, double win. I have not won a single time this entire time and I double won. Okay. And I got a focus, bu focus punch. Would that be good for my boy? Would that be good for my boy? Info. Give the user focus punch status, which causes the user to charge power for one turn. Oh, nope. Then try a powerful attack on the next turn. You can't leak this move. Oh, but that means that I don't like moves like that. Fuck. I wonder how much power points it has, though. Like, that would be nice to know how many power points it has. Hmm. Now I wonder, though. Another thing that would be neat is if you could learn uh, TM moves, and then even if you forget them by, like, leveling up and uh, learning a new move, you could still go back to Electivire and relearn that TM move. That would be a neat system, but I don't think they do it. That's not something I think they do. At that power, I'm guessing 5-5. Five, five. So basically, like, on the one hand, maybe it could be a boss buster, but that also means sacrificing other, like, dungeon utility. But we're gonna head down here. It's been a bit since we came to the to the beach, Silas. There's a bottle here. It looks like there's something inside. Let's take it out and look. Beach cave. Rescue Slugma. I'll take it and then I'll, like, forget it because it's, like... Bibbidi ba. Oh, we only have four things. But yeah, beach cave. No, I don't think so. Bye-bye. Hmm. Water call... Waterfall, drench bluff, and foggy forest. I mean, Flame Flora works just as well. I am a fool, so I do not know. Although now I'm imagining, like, Silas learning Flamethrower. <laughs> now that the expedition is over, I'm back in business. 
Back to doing swaps, my favorite thing. <laughs> Welcome to the Krogunk shop. Wanna swap? I need to get money. I didn't think I'd need money, but I guess we do. Meh. I thought you did it for the love of swapping. Attack with, like, infinite range, 12-12 power point. <laughs> if only the focus punch was like that. Infinite range punch. I'll just take that. I love the music of this game. It's so good. The vibes, the world, the characters. It's so good. I love it. All right, I have your bloody money now. Go, go, swap shop. So which exclusive item do you want? Because requires... Ooh, I have a left... Excuse me. Oh, and I forgot I don't need them in my bag to do it. <laughs> Neon Scarf! What's that do? Oh, it's for Volbeat. But we'll definitely want that for the boy. Okay, so which exclay are you offering in return? Ah, I need to do that. Oh, and it's per swap, too. What? Whoa! <laughs> Seems to me your swap went off without a hitch. Those exclusive items swapped got you this Rialu tail. I'd say it's pretty rare. Treat it with care. I gotta get more money. And I'll actually go and put my... Exclusive items in the in the Kangaskhan storage while I'm at it. Yeah, I think I'll just take all my money so that because I'm gonna be doing a decent amount of swaps. I think I'll need to maybe plot it out because I think specific swaps require specific. Items to swap as well. Well, no, we want that. We want to keep that so that Silas can be a badass. Oh, look at me, but a Zoroa chasing that Rialu tail. Ah, oh, yes, Rialu tail. Totally not weird at all. That's what I'm saying. We already have one. All because Silas didn't want to cut his tail off and put it in the bag for that defense boost. All right, let me view list. It's a one. Dark dust also, dark gem. Requires black silk and dark dust. And this requires all the above. Hmm. So I wonder if it's like just limited between everything. Increases the damage inflicted on ghost types with normal and fighting. Hmm. So basically anything dark type and ba ba da ba. Let's see, Rouse Charm for Pachirisu, take off Ruff for Gligar. Interesting. Sticky Bow for Tangela. Chain Torque for Chingling. Oh, interesting. Causes Kecleon Shop to appear more frequently in dungeons. And again, Neon for how dare you not make it for everyone for Grand Bull. I wonder if these just like change every day. That's what I'm going to assume for now. Alright, let me look at my current job list. Uh, Drench Bluff, Waterfall, or Foggy Forest. I think I might aim for Waterfall and pray to God that things go well for me. We're gonna avoid Mount Bristle? What the fuck? No, I'm not. 
Oh, it, nah, no, Nidorino, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Hurry, rescue. Like, I would go, maybe a... Do I go do Foggy Forest? Maybe. Outlaw notice board. Big Bandit Magmar. This Pokemon goes for big prizes only. Hmm. And there's another Waterfall Cave. Guess I'll take that. over here for the foggy forest. I'll take these two. Thank you. <laughs> mm, ba -da -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We're going to put our money away. All right, I would like to store all my money. And since, uh, let's see job list because we have yeah some waterfall cave so yeah like three waterfall caves well actually <laughs> all right so a lot basically nothing but cowardly pokemon so arrest arrest retrieve stolen item and retrieve stolen item i only have people to kill at waterfall cave and I'm going to have to pre- Jesus. Okay, good. For a moment, I thought that it just said uh, two on the same level. All right. We're going to take Totter and Sleep Seeds with us. Okay, first things first. Uh, bah. Take an apple with us. Let's see. Petrify. Hmm, that could maybe work. In place. But we'll take these sleep seeds with us. Is there anything I care to store? see, because I have my pebbles that I'll need to set. I have some orange berries, some reviver seeds, and then my sleep seeds, and that leaves 20 more spaces to beat up Pokemon for their money with. Perfect. And now, well, first things I actually want to see, team. Nope, it's just us? Good. And now we'll save. Okay, because I have a running theory that maybe, just maybe, Mount Bristle is, like, the only broken dungeon in this thing. Because every single time we got a emulator-like hang-up was when we were going up a level in Mount Bristle. So I'm wondering if that's just it. If Mount Bristle is just cursed. Oh, you put your roots down. How adorable. Die. Because if it, it does turn out to be that, where it's just Mount Bristle that's broken, I won't mind that too bad. Too, too bad. Real is specific. I believe it says just keep it in... Yep. Uh, keep it in the treasure bag. So it's not even an equipable, and I like that. Set... You are a fool, and now you will die. Although I just realized, uh, uh, Silas, I'm gonna take away your Endure Encounter privileges. What a foul cave. What a foul cave. 
You'd think there'd be more waterfalls here. Granted, I guess it is a cave behind a waterfall, but still. Get out of here, muck. No one loves you. Shit. Kill him. <laughs> you force palm some sludge. It rippled and died. I can't believe he killed Miss Baring's figgy pudding. Why would he do that? Then again, if a figgy pudding looked like that, maybe it deserves to die. Hello, Whooper. Goodbye, Whooper. It went head over heels. Honestly, when I realized Flamethrower had infinite range, I started sniping. The only way to play a Pokemon that can learn Flamethrower. Sniper Charizard. Well, I guess in that case, a uh, Sniper Chimchar. Ah, more rocks. Goodbye, little guy. You're gonna die. Again. Silas is just like, we're in a dungeon. Time for murder. You cannot escape Silas. He will hunt you down and kill you for your pocket money. Your five pokey belongs to him now. Oh boy, items! How dare you attack me, Barbotch! How dare you attack me, Barbotch! I kill you! I think we already have a Barbotch. Get out of here. I wonder what you are. A stun seed! Perfect! Because the more, like, outlaws that we go after, the more that we'll want to actually use strategy. Because if we don't use strategy, we're gonna die. I love this game. Like, with, when the difficulty is tuned just right, even, like, the, the dungeon crawling is a fun old time. Alright, uh-huh. First things first. Uh, go to sleep! Nobody cares, <laughs> Angela. I like how everyone goes to me and my partner saying, You look like a weakling! Then it's like, flamethrower. <laughs> Five flamethrowers later. I knocked out Magby. In paranoia, I make a save state just in case uh, the bristle curse comes for us. That way, if it does, we can still um, <laughs> get out of here without having to worry. That is at least the one funny thing. Every single time the uh, you went up a level and now we're going to just, uh, just die, every single time that glitch happened, that crash happened, it's been after I had completed a job, so I was able to roll back and get out of there at least one time. Hello, I'm not gonna buy from you. Ooh, a Reviver Seed! Always nice to get Reviver Seeds on the floor. <laughs> Reviver Seed on the floor. Everybody do the Tino... The, the dinosaur? Dinosaur. My brain was like... Tyra tyrant. And then brain just melted into dust. Alright, first things first. Uh, Sleep Seed. Throw. One of these days I'm gonna run into a Pokemon that just doesn't die to... Or, like, doesn't go to sleep to Sleep Seed. I wonder if that's the same Snover that screwed over my beloved boy Bidoof. We shall continue. <laughs> it's that one Snover exactly! It's what I was saying! Great minds think alike. We see us. We've, we've immediately became racist against Snovers because of that guy. He hurt Bidoof. All Snover must pay. I see that one Snover everywhere. Man, I wonder what race... 
I wonder what racism in the Pokemon world is like. Surely there's, there's at least gotta be type discrimination, right? In the Pokemon world. Type discrimination's gotta be a thing. Don't you, don't you flip your tail in Silas's face, you floozy! He's mine! Good job, Psyduck. You have accomplished everything, and now you will die. Chase your blocks! <laughs> Treasure boxes, glory. Exploration team, run! <laughs> oh, you're not gonna be doing any running. Throw. Especially, oh dear God! I just realized he was right next to the exit. Dear God, why is this guy so tanky? I do like the chase music. Yeah. Alright. The escape orb. I have retrieved it. I would not like to do that. I would like to continue exploring for items and shit. <laughs> that, that went 0 to 100 real quick. And because of stream delay, I don't even know which comet spawned that. It could have been anything. Pokemon racism. My Zorua's insatiable love affair with Sh Silas. Okay, lots of items in this room. It's only money and a gummy. The racism thing. I mean, it's gotta exist. Like, again, type discrimination at the very least. Granted, again, I kind of was talking about it earlier with uh, Meowth bullying. It was like, bully a Meowth, take money from them by making them make money for you. Because I haven't seen a Butterfree in a bit for a moment. <gasps> you motherfucker! Oh shit. Die! Die! Why are you so tanky, you motherfucker? Om nom. Why are you a horrifying monstrosity, Butterfree? Please wake up. You... I'm already asleep, you whore. And, uh, you bastard, die. Huh? Cherry... Bray was dropped? Yes, Butterfree was the outlaw. Okay, so he was an outlaw. We just didn't know. That's interesting. Kind of weird. <laughs> just sudden boss fight. We're not gonna tell ya. It didn't even tell me he was the target. It's just like, I was wondering, it's like, why did I spawn next to a Butterfree? I don't remember there being Butterfree in here. I'll just smack him a bit. Hmm, he has a lot of health. He took a lot of health. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry, Grimer, we don't want you to join the team. You see, the Pokemon racism is at work. I'm a dark type, you're a poison type. It just won't work out. Hello, Whooper. We're here to kill you. There might be one more room, maybe. I'll try and check it out and at least leave. Lave. How dare you attack me? Now you will die. You leave the boy alone! Die! Looks like we're eating fish tonight. Or duck. Ah, maybe we can see down here, maybe? Ah, another room. Nothing. Look, it's nothing. We cleared Waterfall Cave. You brought Magby in for a rest. Take this item as your reward. 
a violent seed. Hey, go do some violence. Take this item as your reward. And a royal gummy. Nice. And we learned 30, we learned, we earned 30 experience point thing it is. Thank you for your work. You brought Snover in for a rest. Take this item as your reward. A purple gummy. Take this item as your reward. And a fairy gummy. Take this item as your reward. And an orange gummy. Hey, <laughs> Silas, you're eating good tonight. And 30 explore points. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for getting my escape orb back. Please accept this 3,000 so we get 300. And 60. Yay. Thank you for getting my cherry berry back. To show my thanks to have this white gummy. And, oh, light screen. Nice. Always good to take some TMs. Huzzah. Munch time. It's munch time. It's not lunch time because it's dinner, which makes it munch time. Let's get some sleep too. Let's do let's go hard at it again tomorrow, Neon. Okay. Good night. <laughs> so is Silas's name a reference to anything? No, I think I just like I like the name Silas. Clickety click. God, it looks terrifying at night. Chief, were we really putting our place on we were really putting our place in that last expedition? <laughs> <laughs> Wiggly Tough wrecked us, and I'm not about to let it go. So humiliating! I need payback, one way or another. But to be brutally honest, we don't stand a chance against Wiggly Tough. Ah, I'm so furious! That's burning me up! Whoa, there's gotta be some way we can get back at him. <laughs> I'd settle for picking on wimps. Oh, hey, instead of Wiggly Tough. How about we take revenge on the wimps in that Team Lost Light? <laughs> Great idea. Whoa, and we know that Team Lost Light is wimpy. Time to do some plotting, boys. <laughs> Great. What fun. The next morning. Muppet Adam, it's morning! Uh... Good morning, Neon. I do want to save my adventure. Ding 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 ding. And three smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! Oh, you two. Before you get to work today, I'd like you to run an errand. An errand? Yes, an errand. Go to Kickleon Market, ask the owners if they plan to stock perfect apples. You want, us to ask, you want us to ask if they'll stock perfect apples? At Kekleon Market, we should find out if they plan to sell perfect apples? Correct! The guild storage holds many perfect apples, or at least it can. But the guildmaster raids the storage when we're not looking and uses up our supply. And we know what happens if the guildmaster is deprived of his perfect apples. But having to search for a fresh load of them is always a chore. Sending an exploration team to Apple Woods with the, when the supply runs out is just too much work. So if Kecleon Market started stocking perfect apples, we could buy them. Precisely. Okay. We'll go visit the Kecleon Market. Great work. Way to go. You're a way to take charge. Let's see. I have the money. Uh, welcome to Krogunk Swap Shop. Let's see. Rialu Tail. I uh, don't think that works well. None of this, I think, is super important to me. Nope. Let me view list quickly again. So basically, I want the Black Silk, Dark Dust, Dark Gym, and Dust Glow, but only these two I can really get before I can get start getting these two. With Shane... Not Shane, Silas. I just keep going back to Diddly D Rescue Team. Brave Dust, Card, Valiant Rock, Emit Ring, and other such things. I need to get all of these to get all of them. But it doesn't look like we have the ability to get any of those. Because Apollo, which I just learned Apollo is the name of Greek mythology, which I didn't even know. Huh. It just came to my head for my Rialu. Interesting. 
I had a chance to chat with the great Dusknoir the other day. I must say that Dusknoir is incredibly worldly wise. He's a wealth of hints and tips for exploring, too. He's so very inspiring. Let's see. We have a bunch of foggy forest. Let's see, any other foggy forests? Uh, deliver radar orb. Yeah, sure, we can do that, I think. I need bodyguards! I'm not gonna do that. Let's see, is there any dudes in Foggy Forest that need their asses whooped? Conniver Duduo's escape. Hmm, Magmar's terrible trap. He has... I'll at least take this one, not that one. Yeah. All right, so which outlaw should we punish today? We've been away from here a long time. The guild of us away on expedition, I heard. We're considering going after a high-ranking outlaw. We just may go for it. It would be a tough fight, but there's only one enemy with all three of us on it. In on it, we can take one outlaw. Just don't go after the bodyguard guy. But yeah, sometimes names for your Pokemon, they just come to you. Sometimes, sometimes. And sometimes you don't know where you've heard of, like, names before. Like, I have no idea about Silas. Silas is just a name that came to me. Looks like there's something inside. Would you like to try and take it out? Landslide Cave. Rescue Grimer. It's a seer rank, so... I guess. If we see any other Landslide Cave jobs, we'll take them. ba 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 I'd like to take all my money so that we can check the Kecleon shop <coughs> for other things. Just lying here takes too much effort. Oh, hi. How was your expedition? Wasn't it too much work? And, yeah, you already told me about this. Again, I, I like that it's just like, ooh, eggs are rare. It's not, it's totally not that they're produced in a certain way. Chancy Daycare welcomes you. I love taking care of eggs. If you ever get an egg, I'll watch it for you. I'll care for it as if it were my very own. I've heard you can get eggs as rewards for missions sometimes. So if you want an egg, go on lots of missions. I actually was reading the TV Tropes page for, like, a uh, friend, like, a uh, fridge like, brilliance and horror in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And they noted that eggs, the, the eggs you get from rescue team missions are, like, they're almost never the same as the Pokemon that gives you the egg. So, like, where did they get them? And apparently, the eggs are coded to be a Pokemon from the floor of the dungeon that you completed that specific mission on. And there's also an additional interesting little thing where the gender of Pokemon is sometimes de uh, dependent on the odd or even number of the floor. And the egg also follows that rule by the, like, mission that you did on that floor. So it's like, these people, they just stole a random wild Pokemon egg. Because they're crazy. I just think it's funny the high-ranking outlaws fear the team known as the Fun Gang. You wouldn't expect a team that's powerful to have a silly name. Then again, Wigglytuff, so you never know. Hey, isn't that... It is. Hello there. You're from the Guild, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we're Team Lost Light. We work at the Guild. It's great to meet you. So, what are you doing in town, Dusknor, sir? Shopping? No, no. Simply enjoying a chat. I hailed him down. The great Dusknor is very famous. We started a conversation, and what a surprising talk. The great Dusknor is so worldly and wise, I'm thoroughly impressed. I guess the rumors are true. Dusknor, sir, you really must be as knowledgeable as they say. I, may I ask, Silas, what I can do for you? Have you come to shop? Oh, yes, fine merchandise, fine wares. Sorry, no, we can ask you something today, not shop. You see... Hmm, I see... Perfect apples? I'm sorry to disappoint you. We have no plans to stock perfect apples. Ah, all right. That's too bad. Janet will be disappointed with this news. Azuril, hurry! Wait for me! 
The Meryl and Azuril brothers. Well, hello to you both. Oh, hi, Ke Kecleon brothers. Oh, and Team Lost Light too. What's up? What's the rush? You know how we've been looking for our lost item? Lost item? Do you mean the same one you were looking for before? Yes, an item called Water Float. A Water Float. Now that is quite the precious item. Yes, that's why we've been looking hard for it for a long time. And then someone said they saw a water float on the beach today. We're rushing to the beach now. <laughs> Juicy tidbit. Whoa, could be useful for our plan. We'll bring the chief up to speed and get the jump on him. What a bunch of jerks. That's excellent. It's great that it's finally turned up. Yes. Yep. Come on, Azura, let's go quick. Yep. I was wondering how those little get brothers were doing with their sur item search. Good for them. Looks like they found it. I've never heard of a water float. What purpose does it serve? A water float is an item specific for Azura. It can be obtained only by trading precious treasures again and again. As such, it is said to be an exceedingly rare item. Gah, is that so? All I know work is buying and selling, but we've never heard of it. It must be exceedingly rare. To sell such a rare item, I'm afraid such a day will never come. To sell? Oh, I just remembered! We have to report back to Chattel about the perfect apples! Let's go back to the guild! I didn't even get to buy anything. What? We have no plans to stock perfect apples? Stop! What am I supposed to do now? Um, we could go get some perfect apples for you at Apple Woods. What? You're joking! You've previously gone to Apple Woods. You failed utterly. I just can't take that. I just can't go through all that again. I'm sorry. You two were outstanding on our recent expedition. I recognize everything that you've done for us. But the incident with the Guildmaster and the perfect apples. It was a slightly traumatic incident for me. Squawk! I suppose I have to find the perfect apples myself. You two should just look over the job bulletin board and outlaw notes support as usual. I do like that he kind of acknowledges it. It's like, l l listen, I understand that you've, had, you've done a good job. It's just, I'm traumatized. <laughs> Please, don't, 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 don't hurt me. First things first. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. What do you have? Got a reviver seed, thorns, apple. Nothing too grand there. What about you, purple? Kecleon wares. So there's the Kecleon shop and the Kecleon wares. Aerial ace. I wish that I could, like, see. Ooh, it's an always hit. Flying physical. Like, I wish I could, like, tell if I could learn it or not. You down here. I have box. This is our to appraisal. Gorgeous box appraise. Your gorgeous box and you'll pay 150. Let the appraisal begin. Quick! Quick! Quah! And so, it is revealed within the box. Was this Persian claw? That's it. You still saying the thing? Yep. He's still having a a breakdown over saying the same thing over and over again. Oh, I just remembered. I never went to Sharkpedo Bluff yesterday. Oh, see? Oh, see, hear us! We have met a Pokemon that inspires us deeply. A great Pokemon that goes by the name of Dusknoir. Oh, see! The world is huge! And there are Pokemon beyond number. Our meager knowledge and experience is no match for the great Dusknoirs. However... We will one day be like him. Whoa! <sighs> I think they're crazy. That way. Because I think we have one ba 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 outlaw job to do. Let me quickly look at my job list. 
Because we're going to Foggy Forest, which is find, escape, rescue. Let's see. The first one is find the orb, arrest the duo, rescue Celio, deliver a radar orb, and rescue Magma. All right, we uh, need a radar orb, Miss Kangaskhan. Let's see. I'll take a blue gummy for me and an orange for Silas. For he's a good boy and deserves good food. He deserves good food. He does the best. Deserves the best good food in the world. In the world. world. Uh, it doesn't look like we have a radar orb. Poor guy. Sucks to be him, I guess. Ba ba nope, nothing else. All right, so... Dibbity -dee. Let's talk to you. Good day. You're from the guild. I've been getting acquainted with your treasure town. This is an excellent place. The climate is quite pleasant. The town is well served by shops. The quality of life here must be cheery and charming. Charming? Charming. Why it's so welcoming, I might like to settle here myself. <laughs> if only they knew. The one downside to focusing on the game and then swapping over to look at chat. Sometimes I lose context. Ah, great, another job guy. Great exploration stream, is it true? Retrieve an item for me. No, it's Mount Bristle. <laughs> Sorry, I don't go to Mount Bristle. That place is cursed. What? I, I could have sworn that I... Did I... Did I mess up? I think I might have messed up. I could have sworn that I took, uh... My items. Did I get distracted? I probably pressed the wrong button, like a fool. Alright. Let's see... Oh yeah, I forgot, we also need to bring in another Reviver Seed to replace the one that we ate. Alright, that. Nah. Alright. Let's see. Missing first, an apple. Orange gummy, and then I'll take a blue gummy. And there was like another thing, wasn't there? Oh, yeah. Reviver Seed. We'll take these. There we go. Pepsi, do you have any normal apples? I guess I'll buy a normal apple from you. I need to stock up on, like, various items from you. Alright, next thing's next. We're gonna come in here. And... Orange gummy for the boy Silas. You know what would be cool? If you could come to the Spenda Cafe after you do a mission. Just to be like... You come here to relax the day away. Ooh, got a good feeling about this one. The delicious flavor overwhelms your senses and delights your digestive system. Went up significantly. Special attack rose. Ah, what? IQ increased too. Huzzah. Me, I'll eat this blue gummy. Me. Also, I just realized these guys, like, charge for nothing. They just br say, bring the gummy. A savory fragrance and unique bitterness come together for a mature flavor. Yeah, basically, you come here, you provide the ingredients, they make a thing for you. I 
do want to work for that silver ticket. I want to work for that silver ticket. I guess I could throw in a few gummies since I have a lot of them. Stun seed. Thank you for the silver ticket. I'd like to redeem it for a yellow. Is it a win or is it not? Is this is another win? Wait. What? Huh? Wait, don't tell me. Is it a big win? That's right! Send in the dancing lobsters! Ludicolo and <laughs> work too. Oh yeah! What? I can't believe we found Mirror B in the Pokemon world. <laughs> Why did they burst through the wall? Did they, do they live in the wall? And then they just fixed it. Was that just a hallucination? What the hell? While you just <laughs> lose your mind, remember to, remember to be, stay hydrated. I'm sorry, what, says chat? That's what I'm saying! I must congratulate you, why not? Here's your big win prize! I got a TM. <laughs> they burst down the wall. And then they repair the wall. <laughs> what? Also, I think I just gamed the system there. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, but they just caught me off guard. Because <laughs> I'm just like, because I was going to make the joke. It's like, haha, you won the bigs and then the dancing lobsters. <laughs> there was actually a bunch of dancing. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> All right, then. I don't know. This is weird. Well, I guess we're gonna go to Foggy Forest. And we're not going to deliver a radar orb. But yeah, that, <laughs> that was crazy. Utterly mad. All right, it's a Foggy Forest where we're probably gonna get annihilated. I probably should take more apples. Oh, well. We dealt with the dancing lobsters. Also, hey, look, I was correct. A bunch of people started to get lost here the moment we found it. How dare you struggle. Now die. Would be amusing if I found a radar orb as I was going. <laughs> yeah, just like... What even was that? Oh, hey, level up time. Awesome, I leveled up. Level up for the boy. I keep forgetting I can throw rocks at people. I need to do that. Sorry, Dunsparce. We are far too early in this to for me to want to make, like, an ally with us. I wonder if the big win happens if you win three times in a row or something. Or is it just luck-based? You think you can run? Well, you can't. Well, yeah, that was nuts. I just, I didn't expect it. After not getting much recycle luck, I wasn't used to, like... I didn't expect to win at all. Take it. Get smacked. Get smacked. Get killed. I'm going to put you on a skillet. Then you're gonna die. Then I'll eat you. You cannot do that. You're dead. Maybe I should be saving my moves for, like, later in the dungeon. Probably. Get smacked. Get rocked on. 
Get rock done. Damn it, Smeargle. You're letting the criminal escape. Get rocked on. Then again, this is Foggy Forest and not, like, the deeper part. So probably not, like, super major. Yeah, I think this will be the last dungeon run of the day. Oh, Electric-type moves are weak in Fog. Interesting, I wonder why. You'd think that they would actually maybe be a bit stronger, considering that... Oh, it's because it disperses! Maybe. Because electricity is conducted by water, so if there's a lot of water in the air through fog, then that just means it gets conducted in the air around you, rather into the target. So like a reverse lightning rod. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm trying to be smartic and use terms, but I'm probably failing like a fool. Oh, hey, another gummy. One of these days I should just, like, take a bunch of gummies over to Spindus Cafe. Also, another weird, one weird thing that I just noticed is so many other things are like, hey, you can, like, take your thing from the storage unit and... Just, just by talking to the, the vendor. Whereas here, like, uh, ba ba ba. Whereas in Spindus Cafe, like, it's extra weird because it's right next to the recycle shop. So it's like, recycle shop, you can do that, but Spinda himself doesn't. Ever so slightly weird. Oh, hey, free TM. If you were Shane, this would be pretty good. Maybe. Potentially good. Although it still doesn't beat getting Bullet Seed for Shane in Rescue Team early on. Granted, he never super used it to my liking, but still, it was a thing to have. Get smacked, idiot. I throw rock at you. This really is the Pokemon ne Neolithic era. Rocks are the best item you can have. Oh, look at the big old skip loom with all the Santa sass. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, hey, another TM. Energy Ball. What be Energy Ball? Move that inflicts damage on the target even at a distance. It may also reduce the special defense of the enemy. But he can't learn it. Sadness. Die, Pachorisu. Be murderized today. Oh no, we're getting hungry. We must devour. Well, hey, here's a berry right here that we can eat. I feel like Pokemon like that should guarantee drop an item. Like a berry. I think that's the first time that a move did over 100 damage in this playthrough. Congratulations, Cyrus. Cyrus. Silas. I'm just tripping over my tongue today. Then again, that's every day. Oh, I've reached a destination floor. Since we're getting dizzy, we should eat apple. Apple. You dare attack me, Skippy Loomy. You dare. Now you must die. Just hopefully if this is a rescue one, the enemy Pokemon don't attack. Because that would be rude if you're, like, on your way to save the Pokemon. And then, like, surprise, the enemy Pokemon have already killed them when you didn't even have a chance. That would be RNG upon RNG, and that would just be mean. 
I'm not a ghost type, idiot. Oh, I found the slumber orb. As always, because of Mount Bristle, make a safe state just in case. Why are all the Pokemon coming to murder me now? They're coming to murder me now. They're coming to murder me now. A big old pack of monsters. They're the giant dancing lobsters. One of these rocks will hit you someday. Idiot. Doo, 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 doo. You motherfucker! It was so frustrated that it hit me for half my health. How dare. Prepare to die. Oh boy! He's a cube box! I got a box of treasure! Yeah! Treasure box! It's my favorite thing! A treasure! The greatest thing in the world! I've lost spot! Exploration team! Run! You won't be able to run when I hit you with the gritty! In actuality, it's uh, just a sleep seat. Work. What the? Well, that was bullshit. And I don't think I have a stun seat to whack him with. feel comfortable leaving Silas. Hmm. I swear to God, if you go a different direction. I wish I could do that. Silas, I want you to wait there. Hey, idiot. And he lost a treasure box, too. So it seems that... Certain runaway outlaws are programmed to go around in a cycle so you can do something like that. I just didn't want him to go like the moment I left Silas in a single location, like he would automatically go a different direction. That's what I feared would happen with a cheating AI, but it looks like the AI is quite fair there. We shall go different directions. Oh, y'all, we're getting dizzy from hunger from chasing that asshole all over the place. A part of me still feels like it would be nice if we could, like, eat an apple. Like, feed an apple to our partner Pokemon to feed the team. So it's not like your partner is starving. Get out of here, Mushroom Man. Be gone, Satan. Ah, another destination floor. So that's a big old circle. I swear if one of these days somebody sends me to pick up a frickin' stick. I was like, I lost my stick in this dungeon. The, the, I think that the guild federation would, like, not persecute me if I annihilated them where they stood. Be gone, Celio. Live a long life with your glorious moustache. 
Mustache, mustache, mustache. No, I would not like to leave. I want to continue exploring. Get blasted, idiot. Also get blasted, idiot. With faint attacks animation, it feels like it should be an AoE attack. Feels like it should, like, blast out in a radius all around you. Be gone, Satan. Hello, Shamu. <laughs> oh, I'm the devil from the Bible. I'm gonna throw a rock at you, jerk. Yeah, keep growling. It's not gonna save you. Die. If it survived my attack... How dare you charm Silas! He is mine! Get out of here, whore! How dare you try to join my team after trying to seduce my man! Although from a, like, writing... Like a comic idea of like... If you just play a Mystery Dungeon game, and you try to extrapolate, like, events from the game and make it into, like, stories for a comic, that would actually lead to a funny subplot-ish. If you ship partner X hero like me, like all good people in the world do, it is the only ship that exists, with maybe some room for a character being shipped with Bidoof, for he is a darling boy and deserves love as well. Foggy Forest. Ah, destination time. Final destination time. <laughs> a platypus? <laughs> a destination? A destination yes 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 we're getting dizzy from hunger eat apple yum 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 you dare now be gone can't just leave, we have to find the dude. Again, it would be nice to be able to double check like the missions that I'm on. Hello, Magmar. Yes. You know, since we've been going for about three hours, I think we'll actually follow Magmar out of here. Yes. I don't think we get much for like, you don't really get anything for completing a whole dungeon. Thank you for getting my slumber orb. Please accept 3,000 pokey. And we get 300. And 60 rescue points. You brought to do in for a rest. Is the bounty on the outlaw's head. Take this item as your reward. I can make people hungry. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for rescuing Celio. To show my thanks, I'm going to have my poison jab. I think Krogunk would like that. Thank you for rescuing Magmar. Please accept this 3,000 pokey. And have an Orenberry. I guess not bad. Orenberry's always nice. Everyone, time for dinner. Yeah! Let's get... Hold on, everyone! He did it again. He stopped us before we ate. <clears throat> before we start dinner, there's something I must share with you. Hey, hey, hey! Come on, now with it! Let us eat already! Quiet, please! Ahem. Now we just received word of this. Another time gear was stolen. What? Another time gear? Another one got stolen? Uh, is it maybe the one in Fogbound Lake? No, it wasn't. The stolen time gear was not from found Fogbound Lake. It's apparently from elsewhere. But that's the second time gear to be stolen. It would be extremely bad if a third were to be taken. Now rest assured that I have full confidence in all of you. But I must make one thing very clear. You must never tell anyone what you witnessed during our expedition. Understood? Of course. I don't have a big mouth. Eek, I would never forget a promise we made to you, Xie. Okay, okay. Oh, quiet, everyone. 
Sorry to keep you waiting. Without further ado, on your marks, get set, chow! Meanwhile, the guildmaster just does his little dance. Because he's a funny little guy. Uh, the idea of, like, a time gear is kind of terrifying if you think about it. It's just like, man... Of just a thing, a natural thing that it can be taken and the world just destroyed. Nightmare, nightmare. I I don't know. Not to mention, why do they even exist? It seems like a weak spot. Why do they exist? Just before dinner, Chadot said another time gear was stolen. That's two now. I can't imagine what'd be stealing who'd be stealing them. What would anyone want with the Time Gears anyway? I just don't understand. I don't know either. When I was at Fogbound Lake, I saw a Time Gear for the first time. That you know of? <laughs> yeah, like honestly, time just stops if it's taken. Who would, who would make a device like it? When I saw the Time Gear, why did my heart start pounding so wildly? I must be reading too much into this. My pulse raced when I saw that time gear. And the time gear's being stolen. No, there's no connection at all. You know, when I think about it, Neon, I get this feeling that our expedition to Fogbound Lake took place a long time ago. Wasn't the view fantastic? It was like being in a dream. I wonder how Yuxi is doing. I wonder if he's well. While we were just there on a mission, Hmm. I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have trusted them. Soon after they left, another Pokemon would come. But this one, it stole the time gear. But they just said it wasn't from Fogbound Lake. I should have done it. I should have taken their memories when I had the chance. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but you're wrong. No one led me here. No one told me about this place. I've known about the presence of a time gear here for a long time. I have no quarrel with you, but I am taking it with me. The third time gear. Ah, he's just a fast boy. He's a fast boy working overtime. The next morning. Up and at him! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. Would you like to save your dunsha? Yes, I would. I do feel like it would have added a bit of, like, drama if somebody had leaked the location of Fogbound Lake and it's... ba ba ba. It's time gear. Well, we've been going for three hours. We completed the expedition. It was lots of fun. Dusknor got introduced. Seems like a chill guy. And we've managed to start doing some trading. Ooh, actually, I have to know. I have to know. We're going to the Krogunk swap. Yes, and three. Smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. What are you going to say? Are we, is it going to be more story? Let's do our best, Neon, just like we always do. What? What's going on? Never mind. We're okay, story happened already. Okay, got it. Hold on. You two, Team Lost Light. Uh, excuse me? I wanted to go to the Krogonk swap. You called? You've got yourself some visitors. Oh, it's going to be Azuril and Meryl, aren't they? Visitors? They're waiting at the guild entrance. Go see them. Who could it be? Silas and Neon, hi there. Oh, it's you little guys. We heard we have visitors. Are you our visitors? Yep, we wanted to ask Team Lost Light for help. Help? Yep. We need your help finding our water float. A water float? Weren't you guys looking for that earlier? A water float? Yep, someone said one was lying on the beach. We went there looking for it. We didn't find it. Instead, this is what we found. This scrap of paper? There's writing on it. Silas read the message on the scrap of paper. 
Let's see, what does it say? The water float from the beach is now in our possession. Just try to take it from us. We'll wait in the deepest part of Amp Plains, but knowing how weak and puny you are, I bet you can't even reach us. Cha ha ha. Can't handle it? Go cry to your big shot friends. Cha ha ha. Hey, this note, it's a. It's a ransom note, isn't it? You little guys, promise me you won't go on yourself. I suspect a trap. But the water float is very important to us. We really want to get it back. But I can't take Azuril to a dangerous place. I said I would go too. It's too much for you. I don't want you getting into any scary scrapes. I went to Ant Plains by myself, but many Electric-type Pokemon live there. I'm no match for them. I tried going many times, but I get knocked out right away. I just can't stand how weak I am. No problem. I know what to do. We'll go get the water float back for you. Really? You will? Yep. So no more tears. Okay. We're sorry to bother you about this. Thank you. <laughs> you should see your faces. All oh, that crying and laughing. Come on. Don't worry, though. We'll get it back for you. It's a promise. Let's go, Neon. We're off to Amp Plains. No, we ain't. We're going back in. <laughs> Team Skull probably would. I remember taking a violent seed for this. Mercy was off the table. I'll have to try and remember to grab a violent seed to just lay down the smack. But first things first, as I wanted, let us see. Is there anything? Rialu Tail, Awake Bow, Kelp Hat. Nope, doesn't look like there's anything. I just want info. Trade info. Oh, never mind. I, I, oh, I wanted the list. Because if I can upgrade a thing doing just, like, I need to see, because I think some of them say, like, let me see, is it, hmm. and, so yeah, getting a second Rialu tail is meaningless. Oh, well, we shall quickly go and save, and then that will be it. Oh, this place is open now. Either that's always been like that, and if you head back to your room after the morning call, it's like that, or maybe they just added that. I don't know. <laughs> but as ever, as always, this game is a lot of fun. I really, really, really like it. The art, the character, the story, the music, it's just all... Super, super good. Love it all. Love it, love it all. And yeah, I seem to have pinpointed the issue. It is just Bristle Mountain, or whatever it's called, that seems to have that glitch where it just smacks on down. But yeah, I do believe that will be it for now as a little diddly D. Uh, I figured I would show you the art that I drew today. Gaze upon the potential pokey sona of myself because Brain was like, hey, let's make a thing. And so I made a thing. Bah. I think it turned out decently. A few little nitpicks, but with art, you gotta do the diddly D of like. Ba ba ba. You gotta. What's the word? Trade perfect for done sometimes. Or like all the time. Thing will never be perfect, so you gotta. Right in the perfect and get it done. But either way, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have a link tree that links to all my social medias. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. And that links to, and the direct link to that can be found in like the description and bio and link places of any diddly d site that you should be using to like know about it. For other such things, I have, uh, but that can for the things that can be found in my link tree, things that can be found are my main YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, of edited content, as well as my streams on Twitch, Neon Icy Wings, and YouTube streaming Neon Icy Games, as well as all the VODs of these streams then get uploaded later as well. So if you want to watch my Mass Effect trilogy playthrough, Undertale playthrough, Rescue Team playthrough, anything, you can go and find them. Yeah, it looks nice, although my brain is just too harsh on myself, so I haven't finished mine. 
That is definitely a mood. You just gotta bash your brain in, figuratively speaking, and uh, push on through. And as Bidoof's tale did say, did say, you get you gotta take the failure to get on, be stronger, even if the failure is painful. Yeah, I definitely relate. But you just gotta keep on going so you can make it be done. Other side. <laughs> speaking of art. I upload my art to various different sites, Twitter, DeviantArt, New, Newgrounds, Pillowfort, Inkblot, tons of places, Blue Sky. And those links and all more can be found in, again, my link tree. I also do writing, like I rambled about earlier. So if you want to follow me uh, there and read the stories I write, like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfics, two links in my link tree do be leading there. And if you're super duper kind and want to throw a dollar or do my way, my Patreon is a tip jar and can be found through my link tree as well. Once again, thank you to the people who helped make the Expanded Sky mod ROM hack for Explorers of Sky a reality. It is a fun old time. Make sure to give them love. I, I need to remember the actual site, but the direct link to it is always going to be found in my YouTube description of these streams and videos of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Explorers of Expanded Sky. When's the next Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stream? Stream. It should be Monday, because today should be Saturday. Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, we shall continue with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Expanded Sky. And yes, I do believe that that will be it for now. I guess, in general, I always stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So yes. And if I may ask, where's the comics? Yeah, the, making outright comics is a lot more work on brain, so I've mostly been trying to make individual, like, mini-picks. I'll, I'll, I'll get to try and make comics at some point. It's just going to be far more difficult. <laughs> Linktree, yep. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings, or should be found in the description of the YouTube videos or bios of the Twitch and such. But yes, once again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Be true, be you, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. So thank you very much. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.